everybody and welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I am Johnny Chiodini. You are you. Don't we make a great team? How's everyone doing? Are we good? Are we well? I hope everyone is well. Um, it's nice to be streaming again after Monday when I streamed for two minutes because I was very sad. Uh, I'm doing a lot better. Thank you all for being uh, very understanding. Um, I'm quite tired though. It's been an intense week. Uh, I've I've had a lot of work on. Um, some of it I can't talk about just yet. Uh, but we filmed the last two episodes of um, the latest arc of Ox Venture, uh, and I cannot wait for you to see them because they're very exciting. Is that? Oh, turns out my monitor, my camera was zoomed in. I wondered why it looked a bit weird. Anyway, um. Hi. Thunder Cookie says you do look like you didn't get enough sleep. Thanks, Thunder Cookie. I actually didn't. I got to bed very late last night. Um, so we're going to have a chill one today. Um, we're going to play some more Hard Space Shipbreaker. If you haven't seen this game before, don't worry. You'll get it immediately. It's very chill. The idea is uh, I'm what's called a shipbreaker uh, or a cutter. And basically we work in a yard where old ships are being decommissioned, and it's my job to cut them up and put them in the appropriate bits. <laughs> so there are some bits that go in an incinerator, some go onto like a big flat thing, some of them go in the re recycler. I haven't played in a while, um, but I really like it. Um, it's really, really good. It's just chill. Um, and yeah, I like I play it quite a lot to un. Wow, I have played it quite a lot to unwind at the end of a night. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to, to jumping back into it. But we're gonna um, we're gonna just sort of a, have a chill one today. The wretched Al says up late eating Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, I was up late playing Blood Bowl because um, the league I'm in is in the quarter final. Uh, sorry, the league I'm in is in the playoffs. And last night I had a quarter final match against a team that beat me three 0 the first time we played, but improbably I won. So I'm through to the semi-finals of the league, which is very exciting. Anyway, we have got two super stickers uh, to get through, and then uh, we'll jump straight in and start cutting up a ship. I'll update you on where my character, that Sergeant, Sergeant Orbit, has got to, and then we'll uh, we'll just we'll just cut up some uh, some lovely little little spaceships. So, uh, Matthew K has done a super sticker. This sticker depicts a pair. Um, you'll be familiar with pears, obviously. They're, they're like um, apples, uh, juicier cousins. Um, but this one is very strange indeed, for it has arms and legs and a face, and a very rela relaxed, laid-back attitude, such as the one we'll be taking on this stream. Because it's sort of reclining like this, and it's like its pear-shaped belly is kind of like out here. Uh, and there's text above it and below it that says, How's it going? And the pear's just kind of like, Meh. It's kind of just waving, as if to say, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty well, thank you, Matthew K. Um, Danila Dragon, meanwhile, has done a super sticker of uh, a cartoon rendition of a Shiba Inu, which is uh, a very popular dog. They have little bottlenose faces. They're like little weird dolphins. Um, they're not actually like the cuddliest of dogs, because they're a primitive breed, but they are very cute. And this one is standing up on its hind legs. Uh, and it's kind of putting its little paws under its chin and baring its teeth, which normally in a dog you'd take as a sign of aggression. But this one just looks like it's smiling. And then it kind of goes like, uh, and tilts its head, which is cute. And we like it. Um, oh, blimey. And uh, there are two chats, uh, super chats. Emma Byrne has done a super chat saying, fittingly, I've been wanting to ask, not looking for details, just a yes or no, but do you know what Liliana's sorceress origin slash subclass is? Maybe. Maybe. Basically, yes. And that's all I'll give you. I'll explain further down the line, Emma. Thank you very much for the super chat. Basically, it's basically it's homebrew, but I haven't hashed out all of the details yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you very much for the super chat and for the question. Um, uh, I sincerely hope you enjoy... Uh, the upcoming episodes of the Ox Venture. There's one on tonight at 8pm, which is, funnily enough, like, 
exactly after this stream, or I'll finish like 10 minutes early so everyone can like have a stretch and, you know, chill out rather than feeling like they're glued to their seat. But um, I have to say, this week's episode and the following one are pretty gangbuster. It's got some of the best role playing I've ever seen from the outside Xbox and extra lot in it. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, and then Nick Chinama Smith has done a super chat saying, Can't stay, adult chores need doing. Just stopping by to send love and catch you on, uh, catch you with the VOD squad. Thank you very much, Nick. I hope you're well. And I hope the adult chores get done very easily and swiftly. Okay. Anonymous says, Just make sure she can cast even if she has her arm pinned. I learned that lesson the hard way, didn't I? Right. So we are now, uh, we've returned to Lieutenant, no, not Lieutenant, Sergeant Orbit, who's now a rank six cutter. Um, let's do career. So, oh, I've not played this in a while, so I'll need to re-familiarise myself with the controls. Um, once we get underway, let me know if the sound needs to go up or down or whatever. Um, uh, uh, and then we'll, we'll get into it. F oh, actually, uh, there is a very important super chat, or rather there is a super chat from a very important person. Monster Noodle is on a super chat saying, Hello, I was going to bed, but I decided to stay up and say hi, and now I shall sleep at 4pm, because I am nothing if not a chaos gremlin. Much love all. Much love to you, Monster Noodle. Also, you may remember that a while ago, uh, Fox and Eljoy Panic did a stream for Monster Noodle um, to uh, help fund his transition. Um... Due to some like glitches on GoFundMe's sort of end, uh, that money has now been refunded to everyone. Um, so you may have seen if you did donate, you may have seen that you got an email. Um, basically, if you if you are able to redonate and you could, that would be really very very much appreciated uh, because uh, Fox and L did such a good job um, of raising money from for Noodle, and it would be very sad to see that just disappear into the ether. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm redonating after this stream. I need to remember to do that, but there we go. Um, okay, right, let's get into it. We've got two more Super Chats, but I reckon I can play a game and read them. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Yep. Have a good day. Okay, I will have a good day. Thank you. Uh, let's turn, it, turn the game up a little bit. Let me know if it needs to go back down. Um... The Kesling has done a super chat saying, It's my 30th tomorrow, and there's a Johnny stream followed by Oxventure, already shaping up to be much better than I had originally thought, with a purple heart emoji. Happy birthday for tomorrow. I hope you have a bloody lovely day. Um, and, yeah, that you 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 spend it with uh, good friends having a nice time. Um, and I hope you're not freaking out about 30, because I'll be honest with you, I'm in my 30s. I know, I look so fresh-faced and young. Um, I'm enjoying this decade much more than I enjoyed my 20s, so I hope uh, the same is true for you, the Kesling. Um, welcome to the no longer 20s something club. Hmm. Okay, wow, the super chats are really rolling in. Victor uh, Victorina has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, my hubby Robert, my hubby Robert and I love your content. Can he get a shout out? His birthday is tomorrow, and I got him tickets to our Princess Bride screening and a meet... And a meet and greet with Carrie Elwes. I mean, as you wish, Victorina. Uh, Robert, happy birthday for tomorrow. I would say I hope you have a, a good one, but I don't need to because I know you're going to have an absolute belter. You're going to meet Carrie Elwes. That is incredible. He's amazing. I love Robin Hood Men in Tights and obviously the Princess Bride. And Saw, why not? Saw was good too. Um... Oh, that's incredible. I'm so excited for you. I hope you have a great day. Uh, fun fact, I once took a photo of um, Carrie Elwes to a hairdresser. Uh, I took a picture of him in the live action film of The Jungle Book, which was uh, filmed uh, a fair time ago. It also had John Cleese in it. Um, not that that's much of a recommendation these days. But anyway, I pretended I was going to a fancy dress uh party dressed as him and I was like I need to have the haircut because it's fancy dress and you know you know oh I know this is so silly I just wanted to look like Carrie Elwes she probably saw through me in retrospect but anyway um right uh Matt Wetton has done a super chat we're gonna I swear we're gonna start cutting up ships any second um Matt Wetton's done a super chat saying watching on VOD to work but wanted to share the love as had great strongman training session today 
lifted 281 kilograms on my 18 inch deadlift and broke through 300 kilograms when I put on my deadlift suit. Officially strength 20 in D&D &D now. Holy shit. How many Watsons is that? Hang on. Let's work this out. Uh, calculator. No, that's calendar. Off to a good start. 300 divided by 60. That is 18.75 Watsons. That's nearly 20 of my dog. That's incredible, Matt. Well done. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Bloody hell. Uh, meffy to go has done a super chat saying, at this rate, you won't even get to play. Stop being part of the problem, Meffy, you generous person. Okay, here we go. Right. So, we are horribly in debt, but we've started a new life. This new life is... Um, oh, God. There's our suit. It's... We're cutting up ships in this yard. Uh, it's a shipbreaker yard. And it's good. Except for we owe billions of dollars to the um, to the corporation. We owe... Oh, God. What is that, even? That's three... One billion two hundred twenty-three million one hundred sixty-three thousand five hundred sixty-nine hundred dollars and ninety-two cents. So, that's a lot of money. But we earn that money by cutting up ships. Unfortunately, we also have to repair our equipment and stuff. But we'll we'll get around that. How is the equipment doing? The modular laser cutter and the cross spectrum spectrum scanner are not doing great. So we're going to repair those. I think we can allow the handheld utility grapple and thrusters to stay there. Um, all right. CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying just to be part of the problem. Thank you very much, CookieCat94. Colin Lass has done a super chat saying no bad pun today. Just wanted to say how thankful I am for you, Johnny, you lovely person, and for this community of awesome people. Thank you, Colin. That's really lovely of you. Um, I have to say it's really nice knowing that this community is here. Uh, and that I get to be a part of it with you. Um, it cheers me up when I am not feeling cheerful. Um, Doc Zock has done a super chat saying, Just came home after a long and exhausting day at the job I love. Perfect timing for a chill stream to wind down. Welcome aboard, Doc Zock. Welcome in. Um, we are going to... I'm going to take off my headphones and my jumper. And then we're going to jump in and cut up a ship. I can't remember... What ship I'm cutting up. That's a nip slip, isn't it? Whoops. Hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Um, Whoopsie daisy. Um, <laughs> hmm. uh, <laughs> I can't remember what ship I'm cutting up, but I'll, I'll get back to it. Uh, Aiden folks has done a super sticker of a game controller that's got like a face and arms and legs, which would make it very uncomfortable to hold. Uh, and it says... Good luck, have fun, or G-L-H-F. Here we go. Thank you very much. Right, start shift. Simon Biker 30 says, what is this game? This is Hard Space Shipbreaker. So, currently, we're, we are cutting up uh, this mackerel light cargo transport, uh, which was previously owned by Expedient Express. We have currently salvaged... 38,140 kilograms of it, so not much, but that alone is worth 8.6 million dollars, which is great because I owe so much money uh, that we just need to, to keep making money to clear our debts. So here we go. Tabby Black 13 says, do we have to pay for that? No, that's free. Matt Cohen says, grand. Yep. Okay. Oh, what? I'd check in with you. Hello. Do you ever miss your folks back on Earth? My old man back on the Eris platform. It was rough growing up there. Hard to even get by. Folks just grasping at whatever work they can. Like my mom. She left to work off station when I was four. Hardly know her. Basically remarried now. And my dad? He's a minor. Always wanted to be prospecting himself one day, but he's tired now. Mine's driven the life out of him. Oh. It was hard. Just the two of us. I'm not gonna lie. People shouldn't have to make choices like that. You know? Break their families apart just to survive. Anyways, 
Maybe someday I can do what my old man wasn't able to. <sighs> someday. Blue out. Okay. Well, Lou, that was um, vaguely upsetting, but uh, I hope you're okay. Uh, right, so, as you can see, uh, I've got a cutter. Oh, I've not played in a while. And I... Uh, the My heads-up display told me to put that on the barge. That's the barge! So, um, like I say, uh, we've got a cutter, as you will have seen. Oh, I've not played in a while. Thanks, computer voice. And we've got this, uh, we've got this mumpin' great ship here to cut up. Um, so let's have a look inside. We've got a scanner. Um, and anything that's yellow is something I can cut. Which is good. Cutting things and putting them in the thing is a good thing in this instance. My, uh, you can see that my HUD is going a bit f wibbly wobbly. That's because there's a reactor in this this here ship, and I'm close to it. Where exactly is it? Probably in the engine room, eh? Uh, we'll get to that bit anyway. Silent Cobb has done a super chat, saying, After a long day at the dry dock, a human and an elf walk into a bar. The dwarf walks underneath to get a drink. After a long day at the dry dock, a human and an elf walk into a bar. The dwarf walks underneath to get a drink. Ah, oh, because dwarf. Okay, right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you, Silent Cop. <laughs> um, Victor Victorina has done a super chat saying the first first slip is free. That's how they get you. Uh huh. Um, for fourteen says, why is Johnny's suit already failing? Uh, probably because it was a bit donked up before and I haven't fixed it. That'd be why, because I'm continuing a save file. Anyway, it's not failing, it's just not working at optimum efficiency! What did I do? Oh, was that pressurized? Uh oh. Oh god. Okay, well, okay, this needs to go... Ah! This needs to go into the processor. This is bad. That needs to go in the furnace, though. What did I do wrong there? Was that pressurised? I guess it was. Or was it just massive? Hey-ho. We're alive, that's the important thing. We've got 11 and a half minutes left on our shift. Uh, our health is good, at least. I opened a compressed space. Okay, well, whoops a daisy. Where's all that stuff that floated out? Let's uh, let's deal with that first. Grapple. That's going on the barge. Which way is the barge? There's the barge. Boing! Um, barge. Uh, yeah, it has been a while <laughs> since I've played. A food pack! Get in the furnace! Food pack. Okay, anything else? What is that? That's just small. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, food pack. $900 for a food pack. That's like some premium grade stuff. Processor. I, d I mean, it wasn't a good thing that we did that. Necessarily, but oh, that's still attached. It wasn't necessarily a good thing that we depressurized that thing, but it didn't seem to hurt us too much. Like it hasn't damaged the ship, and uh, you know, now it's in too easy to manage chunks. Let's see. So, if in case you don't remember, if something starts glowing, it's been cut free. And you can maneuver it. That there's a light which needs to go on the barge. But all of this otherwise is going in the processor. Now. Aha, that's how you do tethers. I remember. That's the processor. That's a tether. So the tether is going to start pulling it in. Oh. Meanwhile, I am going to asphyxiate unless I go over here. You're welcome for the valuable deposit. 
My O2 is low. So. Ah! Ah! I've not played in a while. Why am I tilting when I can rotate? There we go. Uh, we'll just... Buy some oxygen. oxygen and a suit patch kit. <laughs> okay. Back. Nine minutes left on the shift. We can do this. Lisa Hunt's done a super chat saying, Small super chat, say thanks for the chill stream, which I desperately needed, and to help with the massive debt slash buy more oxygen. Thank you, Lisa. You are the the air in my lungs. <laughs> Quite literally today. Okay, let's see. Aha. So, we've got a mix of stuff that needs to go furnace or not furnace. That, meanwhile. Oops. What this? Is that just junk now? Yes, it is. Okay. Cutter. Uh, grapple. Is that all? Right, is that, that... Okay, so that's... I think I've stripped everything that isn't going in the processor off this piece. So, the processor's here. Let's throw a tether in there. Axley says, this game reminds me of that dwarf mining game which I've never played. You mean Dwarf Fortress? Dwarf Fortress has just got a graphical upgrade, hasn't it? Or like a, a graphic... A graphics -y version. Which is interesting, because I've never played Dwarf Fortress, but I'd kind of like to, I reckon. So, let's have a look here. We've got stuff that needs to go processor, and we've got stuff that needs to go furnace. Can I cut this? I don't think I can, you know. I cannot. But, uh, how do you put it in the other mode? Ah, mode swap, V. Will that work? No, above cut grade. Unfortunately, I think this is still above my cut grade as well. Yeah, above cut grade. Oh, uh oh. Well, I could cut that bit. Sure as sure as uh, sure as anything. Whoops, a daisy. Oh, there's got to be a contact point here somewhere where I can cut, right? How how do I free you? Where do you attach? Simon Biker says, do you have a hammer? Hit it with a hammer. I wish, Simon, but I don't. Okay, alright. It's time to play the game of which which will net me more money. 2,822, 500, Ooh, what's that bit that's really expensive? That panel is very expensive. Whereas this whole furnace bit, not so much. We're just going to bung this whole thing into the processor. We'll get told off a little bit, but... That's okay also. My O2 is uh, already half down. There is a mode where you can play this game with no timers and no oxygen. What? Well, no oxygen uh, degradation. Oh shit, it was free! It was free! It was all there! James Frost saw that. It doesn't look like it's attached. Oh my god, that was so much money! Oh well, I've done it now. That was so much money. You can see up the top here. You see where that red bar is? Ah, James Frost's glass in the front you should cut out. Well, too late now, James. I'm bad at my job. And at this game, am I right? Remy says, it was free and still had valuable stuff inside. Well, you win some, you lose some. Alright. Thanks, Weaver. Where's the rest of the ship? <laughs> oh, God. There it is. Anonymous says, does it move when it shouldn't? Duct tape. Does it not move when it should? WD-40. That's, that's, yep. What's pickup? Oh, that's a pickup. <laughs> yes. That's mine now. I own this. 
Oh, game kind of glitched there. Like that. Repair kit. Yes, that's mine now. Oops. Oh no, that's that's all the way over there. There now, more like. Megan M has done a super sticker. The super sticker depicts a um. Oh, that's what CM CMPT means. It's compressurized, isn't it? Or rather, pressurized. Is it? No. Yes. Yes. Anyway, uh, Megan M's done a super sticker. The super sticker depicts uh, a lemon. A lemon with arms and legs, no less. Uh, and it's wearing a cape. And it's kind of making a heroic pose. Oh, again. I'm Link's equipment. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! That's okay. How do I do that again? How do I, uh, inventory? Repair kit? No. Oh, shit. Let's just go home. Let's just go home. Yes, we'll enter the hab. Everything's fine. Cusco25 says, quite sure, Comput stands for compartment. Probably. Uh, anyway. There's a lemon and a lime and they're people and they're having a great time. <laughs> Oh, that sucked. I destroyed 1.3 million dollars worth. Which is more than I've salvaged so far. Ouch. Ow. Ouch. The Kesling says, I don't think O2 is supposed to leak. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. <sighs> That didn't go well. But that's all, you know, that's all right. I'm still finding my not sea legs. Hmm. I can repair at the console where I buy stuff. I remember now. Good morning, pattern 9346-52. Uh-huh. Links would like to share the following inspirational message. Please do. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Right. Thanks, uh, automated voice. Cusco25 says, so still made a profit, so all's well. Look, yeah, look at that. I've cleared, I've, I've cleared the, the interest on everything. Well, not there. Uh, let's see, equipment room. Let's have a look at the old equipment. There's my suit. There's my equipment. Equipment. Work suit. Oh, yeah, upgrades. But I can't afford that upgrade. Tier requirement not, not met, so I can't buy it. That's fine. Oh, could I afford that? I can't afford it. I haven't got enough links tokens. That's fine. Helmet. Oh, motor capacity. I can increase that once I get more links tokens. Uh, what should the laser cutter? Huh. Do I need to go outside in order to repair my suit? Oh, I forget. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, we donked the ship up a bit, but that's okay. Yeah, let's keep going. Ah. <sighs> Lawrence Smith has started playing Valheim recently. Game Pass, yay! Has Johnny streamed it before? I have not. I have not touched it. Did I put a tether down? When did I put a tether down? Cancel that tether. That's that's weird. Um. Uh. Hang on. Thanks, Vendatron Nine Thousand. Thruster fuel. Uh, so Valheim. No, I've never even touched it. I've, I've not played it. It's not to say I wouldn't play it, but I think... I think... Um, I think... That... Uh, suit patch kit. Alright. Um, uh, just hang on. Use your words, and then you can play the video game. Um, I didn't stream it because when it launched, loads of people were playing it. And I was like, I don't need to do that. Um, so I might be able to. 
Uh, Levi Coffee's done a uh, super chat saying, thanks for introducing me to this game. I still have a relaxing adventure every time I boot it up. It's really lovely, isn't it? I like it a lot. Um, it is a good game. Uh, Max Smith 2013 says, Johnny, any plans on playing Ragnarok? Yeah, probably. Um, I'm assuming that... Um, oh, I am unpressurized. Suit patch kit. Can I... I swear there was a way to. Have a nice day. What is what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Oops. Apart from I've, I know I'm unpressurized. Oh, that unpressurizes the space around you, says Remy, Remy K. Thanks, Remy! What am I doing wrong? Being silly. That's what I'm doing. Did I just put down another tether? Yes. Why am I putting down tethers all the time? Stop it, Johnny. Okie dokie. Right. Let's just get back to cutting up the ship. Cool. It is fun to re-familiarize oneself with a game. Sometimes, when doing it live, it is stressful. But overall, I'm having a nice time. Anonymous says the O in Ragnarok is pronounced like the U in Merc or Murder, so Ragnarok. Oh, there we go. Ah, the suit repairs itself when you enter the hab. Thank you, Zoe Gilbert. I hope you are having a nice time. Hope you are well. Hello. That looks de that looks like a thing we want to cut. And that. Yeah. Right now, the nacelle. The nacelle is still not free. What am I missing? More cut points, probably. Oh no, it is free. Look at that. And it needs to go on the barge. The whole thing does. So, what we'll do is, we'll stick a tether on it. Bye, Nacell! You hang in there, tether, you're doing a great job. That's, there we go. That was worse than, that was a chunk of change, wasn't it? Alright, let's do it, a, let's do it a second time. Oh, that's the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong piece of gear. Good, good, good. Yeah, you can tell I didn't get enough sleep last night, can you? Probably. Oh, what are you? A power cell grapple. Uh, at one point, uh, when I was playing this game, uh, I there was a fuel canister. And I was like, brilliant, fuel canister, I'll put that on the barge. Ah, the reactor, here we go, hello. Uh, and I had the wrong thing equipped, so I just lasered it and it blew up. The Kesling says, what, are this, what does the barge do? So, um, you have got, in this game, um, you've got, that's the processor, so that'll um, take like certain valuable things. Uh, that is the furnace, which will take other valuable things, but both of them destroy that stuff. Whereas this nacelle is a perfectly good piece of kit that can just be repurposed straight away. The same as this light. So what, what the barge is, basically, it's just a pickup truck. Boop. Where you just launch things. Okay. I would ideally like a bit more space to manoeuvre the class 1 reactor. Eh, let's just do, let's just do it. Oh no, I need to cut it. Oh no. I need to cut that loose. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna melt down. It's gonna melt down. I shouldn't have touched that. I'm getting out. I'm getting out of here. Oh no, wait, it's only a fifth of the way to, to, to it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. No, I'm gonna leg it. I should have thought about that. Warning. Your oxygen reserve 
I've got more to worry about, frankly, right now. Well, this is the first time I've done this. Let's buy some oxygen. I've lost so much money. Mr. Tom for the win says, never had one of those explode on me. Well, Mr. Tom, I'm delighted to be able to show you what it looks like. Shit. Well, let's go, let's go have a look. Scrap, look. We've got plenty of scrap. Look, we can... That's $25 we've got back. Hey! Some, sc some scrap there. That's worth $58. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be fine, everyone. Oh, it didn't want that. Furnace. Scrap. Boop! It's fine, look. We're making loads of money. Thunder Cookie says, can we salvage this? Very good, Thunder Cookie. Wow. Hey ho. You know, like, my job is, is, you know, to play games in a way that people find enjoyable. And sometimes that means fucking up your own game so, so other people can see what it looks like when you do something really, really bad. There I was being like, no, ideally, actually, I'd like a bit more room to uh, to manoeuvre this reactor, but fuck it. And then I realised I hadn't, it wasn't free to move. And I just kicked it, basically. And then it melted down. And here we are. Roswell Walton says, I joined to explosion. Well, maybe you're the problem, Roswell Walton. No, I'm kidding. Emma Benton says, good morning, friends. I see this is going swimmingly. Yep, it's going great. Don't worry about it. Look, what I did was I streamlined my workflow by cutting up the ship into some manageable pieces, you know? You know like how when children are about to eat and they just get all their food cut up for them first so they can just crack on. It's like that, but with a ship, you know, with a reactor. Don't forget that your equipment durability doesn't take care of itself. Okay. The gear's acting up on you. Best practice is to patch it up in the hat. Okay. Your tools should be working for you. Alright. Alright. Yikes. I do need to patch my suit up in fairness. Mark Cohen says top speed run tactic. Thank you, Mark. You get it. Look at this. This is brilliant. Any percent. What a great run. There's still so much ship to salvage. Tempted to start a new one. You're allowed to do that. You can just say, I don't want to work on this ship anymore. Do, 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 do. Ah, this is nice, look. No thoughts, only bits of scrap. Head empty. Come here, you naughty little bit of nanocarbon panel. <sighs> I blew up so much of the ship. Oh, that reactor was worth so much money. Yeah, I mean, there is loads left to do. But maybe we'll start a new ship at the end of this shift, hey? Why not? I've done most of the hard work. Oh, you know what? Actually, it'd be good if we could get to uh, goal number one. Just a little bit more... We just need to make a little bit more cash. Come on. Five minutes. We should be able to do that. 
Ooh, there's just so much. Ooh, none of it in good nick. Oh, I missed there, didn't I? That's going in the furnace. No, it isn't. Okay. Processor. Boing. Yes! Salvage goal one reach. Reached. Roswell Walton says I spent way too much time yeeting myself into the furnace last time I played this, so it's entirely possible I did dink jinx you, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, well, there we go. At least you owned up to it, Roswald. Cusco25 says, It is called ship breaker, not ship carefully take a parter. I agree, my friend. Right, let's just get in the hab. Sod it. Someone else can deal with that. Don't want to fix that ship now. It's boring. Boring ship, actually. Boring. Look, we got some more tokens. Axley says, any plans for Callisto Protocol or the Dead Space 1 remake? Maybe. Um, I'm not great with horror games. Uh, I'll think about it. So I was, I was kind of like... Good morning, yep. Yep. With a high of minus 270 degrees. Yep. All right. There we go. Uh, I'm not great with uh, horror games, so I guess I wouldn't think to stream it off my own back. But if people want to vote for it for, like, oh, God, for a Let's Play series or whatever, I'd probably do it. Pietro P says, I only recently watched your first Hard Space Shipbreaker stream, and your comments about Rebecca Black's Instagram made me choke on my soup. I thought you should know. I'm not sure. I thought you should know it. Not sure why it didn't send. I said what I said. I said what I said. Okay. Uh, let's wake up. Alright. We kept ahead of our daily fees. Not by much. But that's okay. Ah. Right. The kitchen. Now. Equipment. What's okay, the utility grapple we should repair. Oh yeah, here we go. Work suit. Uh helmet. Hmm. Huh. It just seems to be like that. Uh we've got some links tokens to spend. I would like to increase my oxygen tank size. Hooray! I could have. Could I have increased my... No. That would have increased my range. Let's overheat cooldown. Okay, that's fine. Thrusters. I'll repair those. Could increase my top speed. I'm not sure I want to. Now. Now. That's something I should be saving up for. But for now, I'm very happy to say my oxygen lasts a bit longer. Right, now. Employee terminal. Messages. Duh, duh, duh. Oh yeah, I've joined a, oh, I joined a secret union. I forgot about that. Start shift. Okay. Don't want to do that. Let's see now. There's the Kent, which is uh, an Atlas Nomad cargo hauler, industrial, Tiber Transplanetary. It's worth 16 million, probably not by the time I'm done with it. I mean, that ship's worth loads. This is worth 13 million. 8 million, 13.8 million. Let's, let's do the... Uh, Let's do the let's do the Kent, shall we? Should we start cutting up the Kent? Faisal says, "Ooh, that's a beaut, right? Yeah." Yep. I reckon it's time to start cutting up the Kent. Should really have a trucker hat. Ah, uh, Hugh says, "What did you just call me?" Yes, <laughs> yeah. It's talking about the ship, Hugh. Oh, look at her. By God, she's a beauty. Thrusters on these Atlas ships are worth a mint, but can be a touch fiddly. Uh -oh. There's only one way to salvage the thruster engine and fuel injectors intact, 
You gotta pop off the thruster nozzle and work your way inside from there. Okay. The trick of it is, these thrusters become unstable once you start working on them. Fire starts spreading real fast. When it reaches the fuel tank, it's gonna blow. You gotta get in quick and switch off the fuel supply. There's a shut-off switch at the very back. Why is it? Get to that switch as fast as you can. Otherwise, well, we'd be in for a big old mess. All right. Okay. Let's get that nozzle removed. <laughs> ah, shit. Alex Simkin says, don't blow it up. Alex, you're not the boss of me. Oh my god, I forgot this bit of banjo music sounds a bit like the uh, the OC theme. We've been on the run, do do. Where is even the bit I can cutting? Hey Cutter, wanna see something special? Yeah. Take a look at that rail gate. Where? What rail gate? What what rail? Oh. Whoa! Is that big sheep? Ooh, what a beauty. Oh. You know, no matter how many times I see that old railgate fire, it never ceases to amaze me. Could be you on there one day. Thruster nozzle. Okay, we've located the thruster nozzle. Novel? Nozzle. Ivan W says, I wonder how many people in the chat recognize or remember the OC, Johnny. I know, I'm old! <laughs> We've been on the run, pew pew, driving in the sun, pew pew, looking out for number one, pew pew. I'm sorry, but how am I supposed to get this nozzle off? I'm a, this is, I'm, I'm asking in a French accent, where do I start the cutting? I mean, I could get in. I'm gonna pop, he said specifically pop that nozzle off. Nicholas P says, yeah, it's been a while since that show. I know. It says to remove the access panels. Where does it say that? I suppose that is an access panel, isn't it? Oh, you can just remove them. For fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, who said that? It says to remove the access panels. Pink Daisy. Thank you, Pink Daisy. Thank you. Gaz, meanwhile, says maybe you can gain access by using the access panel. Gaz? I don't care for your tone. <laughs> Okay. We've been on the run. Pew pew. Driving in the sun. Pew pew. We're gonna have a number one. Pew pew. Let's go to the other access panel. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Hey, you're fucking welcome. Oh, yep. There we go. Trick shot. Is that going to go in? Should do. Alright then. Let's do this thing, my friends. Wham. Bend it down and down. Pew pew. Wish I was better at playing the banjo. I mean, I have not put in the work to be better at the banjo, but. I can play a few bits. I know some chords. And like, like two rolls, maybe. Thrust a nozzle. You go on the barge. Off you go. Okie dokie. Right. Quasar thruster. Holy shit. Right. Now. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm happy to take a tip uh, on this one. Um, I mean, it looks like I've just got to cut that open and then hoon it down there. 
Like I've got to cut it. Does that seem right, everyone? Let's try it. We're just gonna try it. Clock's ticking now, Cutter. Get in there and hit that shut off. Oh, you're right. Yeah, no, that's that's on fire. Okay. What a poorly designed ship. Well, I suppose it was designed to work as a ship, not to give me an easy day. Come here. Right, it's gonna leave that. Ah! Yeah, I'm on fire, mate. I'm very on fire. Oh, yeah, that was very satisfying. Fucking hell. Ow. I caught fire. I was screaming. My health is bad now. Dee -de -dee -de -do. Pew, pew. Looking out for number one. Pew, pew. Well, that happened. We've been on the run. Beep, beep. Driving in the sun. Beep, beep. Emma Benton says, pro tip, don't be on fire. Thanks, Emma. You've always got my back, you know? Now that is a fuel tank. So we're going to maneuver this. Ooh! Very carefully? <laughs> they Fuel tonk. Should go get some more oxygen, really. Tell you what, I'll, uh... Right, let's go buy some more air to breathing. Where's the hab? Where's the hab? There's the hab. Whee! This is a very sedate trip, isn't it? And oxygen. Phew! Fuck it. <sighs> Alright, the Kent. Let's do that again. Set me on fire, baby! Netwitch says two more thrusters to go. Two more? Two? Shit. <sighs> Can't believe I signed up for this. Right. Doodle doodle doo. Beep beep. Lucas says, hi Johnny, I'm going to be GM for the first time soon. Blaze in the dark. Seen your GM tips, uh, DM vid tips vid with Luke. Do you have any blade specific hints? Blade specific stuff. E. Hmm. Let me have a think. Um, with blades, I would say uh, don't be afraid to ask for input from the players because sometimes if they roll a mixed success, you know, you, you know that there's a consequence to what they're doing. But you don't have any ideas? It's alright to be like, do you have any suggestions? What do you think would be a good consequence? Because it is a game that really keeps you on your toes, but also, like, can be a lot to, um... Will this fit? Come on, out you go. Yeah, let's pop you on the barge fuel injector. Um, it, it can be a, a lot uh, to think up on the spot. And sometimes, you know, it's just, it's perfectly reasonable to be like, do you have anything in mind? You know, is there anything you want this to be? Right, that's not attached, is it? That is decidedly not attached. Is there anything on there? That doesn't need to go in the processor. No, that's all processor, baby. Um, uh, other blades tips. 
I would say... Mel says Blaze specific. Remind players about flashbacks, group actions, taking stress to reduce harm, and Devil's Bargains. That's a good shout as well. Um, I would say also make the... Remember... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, cancel tethers. Um... There are, there are going to be a lot of times where, basically, I think you should act like a, a telltale game and be like, X will remember that. You can always make notes of things that are going to come back and bite them in the bum later. And in fact, if somebody rolls makes a roll with a success but a consequence, that's stuck, isn't it? That is just stuck. Um, oh, it's moving. Somebody rolls for like a partial success, so a consequence to what they're doing. You can just be like, all right, there will be a consequence to that later. And you can note it down and bring it up later. All right, there we go. Get in there, you enormous piece of nano carbon, you. Make me less in debt, baby. Cancel that tether. Yep, shut up, supplies are high, though. <laughs> yeah! Told you. Why is it going up there? I want it go in there. Go in there. Go in there! Ugh. Go in! Just go in! Kalar says, Johnny, nanocarbons have feelings too. Well, this one won't when I put it in the processor. Go in! I should have put that more on the top, shouldn't I? You know what? Cancel that tether. I said, cancel that tether. We're going to put one tether here. I missed. <laughs> okay, I've got two tethers. I hope this works. Oh, it's going in. It's going in. It's going in. It's going in. We're fine. I'm a genius. <laughs> and modest. This is going in the processor. Oh, and there was some scrap, was there? Well, up yours. Enjoy the fuel pipe, baby. Panel! Uh, 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 the Kesling says, surely if you process yourself, that would remove some of the debt. No, because then you have to pay for them to make a new you. It's, it's dastardly. They've really got you by the horns. Okay. Well, that we can cut out from inside. I feel like we've made a decent amount of scratch off this. Oh, that's a cargo container, is it? We can cut that loose. That's a cargo container. Everyone's a cargo container. All right. Scanner damaged. Ow. Boo. We've only got a minute and 16, so I'm just going to cut a few of these. And we'll get back to this on the next shift. Yeah. Thanks, Weaver. I like Weaver a lot. Doodle dear 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 bow. Doodle dee doo. The good news is, if something doesn't go all the way in, uh, then it will just still be there on your next shift. In fact, I'm not going to make that cut. Oh no, there is a cut there as well. All right, I'll make I'll make one last cut. Yeah, but I've probably got like 15 seconds of oxygen, haven't I? Oh, my uh, my camera's frozen. That's weird. Let's pause the game, shall we? Let's see what that's about. 
Huh. That's unusual. Yeah, look at that. Wow. It's not a flattering picture either. Okie dokie. Properties. <laughs> Bear with me. Deactivate. Activate. Yay! Here's my face. That's a first. wonder if the cam link overheated. Huh. Look, here's my face. See how it moves. <laughs> anyway. Right. What did we do? Oh, we destroyed $60,000 worth of scrap, apparently. Oh, well. Wee! Did it, did it. Jado says, Welcome back, Full Motion Johnny. Thank you, Jado. Oh, yeah, look at that. We made 1.4 million today. Oh, we destroyed a light and a fuel pipe. Okay. That's okay. Salvage goal earnings. Right. And then we get up and do it all again. Rob Joe says, I've been listening while painting. Didn't notice. What are you painting, Rob? Good morning, Shipbreaker. This is your daily wake-up call. Thank you, Hab Voice. Right. Look at that. Look at that. Look, we, we, we're still a billion dollars in debt. Pietro P says, what is the shift mechanic like? What does it do? It just adds a little bit of time pressure to move quickly. Uh, that and the oxygen mean that, you know, you're not always earning loads and loads of money because you're having to deal with, well, the shift ending and therefore there being another round of payments. Uh, but also having to nip back and get oxygen and stuff like that. You can remove all that stuff, but I quite like having it on, weirdly. Um, Aaron Shaw says... Uh, Hey, watching me with my wife, Katya, on VOD, as we've both been big fans for a while. Can I ask you, uh, ask for you to give her a shout-out? It's been a pretty... Uh, I've had a pretty rough week, and she's been a total rock. Just the best. Katya, um, hello. I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying this 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 video on demand. Look, my face is moving again. Uh, wasn't it awful when I blew up that reactor? Uh, just through sheer lack of forethought. Um... But I hear, wait for this, this is a great segue, that you're very thoughtful. Hmm? Um, and that you have really been making Aaron Shaw's, um, you probably don't full name them every time, do you? Um, but you've been making uh, a tough week a lot better, so um, yeah, good job on that. Um, it's it's nice to be there for, for the one you love, uh, but also, you know, sometimes it's, it's, a, it's, it's a tiring things and it makes you tired not as in you resent the person you know what i mean wow this is going really well i hope you're, hope you're happy with the the uh the expenditure <laughs> aaron um but yeah no genuinely uh thanks for being you and doing a great job uh let's go do a great job with the ship <laughs> ta-da uh, um, um. uh snowy is earth 72 meanwhile has done a super sticker of uh, a Shibrino. It's another Shibrino, and this one's holding its cheeks up, and its cheeks are all rosy. And it's poking its tongue out and being like eh, da, 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 da. Hope you enjoyed that, Snowy Star 72. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the equipment. The equipment. We've got a new sticker. Where's the new sticker? Is that it? No. So we haven't earned that one yet. Employee advancement. Drink more. Stay hydrated. We should stay hydrated. Is everyone staying hydrated? Ah, here a cutter mentioned the word beer. Crack one open. I think I've already placed that one there. Oops, oh, I removed a sticker. Okay, well, that happened. Anyway. Let's start... The shift. Ah, no surrender has done a super sticker. Now, you'll remember I mentioned a pair earlier, and that that pair had like a, a chill disposition. Oh no, because the pair is still very upbeat, but has a mug in its hand, 
Uh, and in the mug is a viscous red liquid that I am uh, very much afraid is blood. Captain Shiny says blood for the blood pair. And yeah, it looks like the pair has got a whole mug of blood and is just like sloshing it about repeatedly being like, look at my mug of blood. Don't you fucking cross me. I'm a pair, one of your five a day. So there you go. Ah. Thank you for that, no surrender. Continue salvage. No surrender says, hydrate, he cries. Hydrate! Yes, the pair wants you to hydrate. Can you hydrate from blood? I feel like it's too salty for that. And they fired up the furnace. That's a sensor array. We'll stick that on the barge. Let's start off with just getting some of the stuff onto the barge that needs to go on there. And then we'll we'll get back to that cargo box. Oh, Kim on utility arm. Oh, you're worth lots of money. Doot. Down you go. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Antenna. That needs to get antenna base. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, buddy. You're right. Oh, maybe you come. You need to go in the processor. Oh shit! Oh come on. The antenna needs to go on the barge. The antenna base does not. Oh, there you go. You can just remove it. <laughs> well, if I'd known you had to dismantle it, I would have done it properly, wouldn't I? Bollocks. Mark Clifford has done a super chat, but there is no message attached, which uh, may have been deliberate, uh, and if so, thank you very much, it's very kind of you, may have been accidental, in which case, Mark, don't worry. All you need to do is just type what you wanted to say, and, and a uh, fuel pipe, fuel pipe go processor, all this go processor, that's fine. Uh, just type what you were going to say, and I'll uh, read it out. Oh, I've only got two tethers. Shit. All right, well. Mark says, sorry, accidental. No worries, Mark. Just let me know what you wanted me to, to say and I'll read it out. I like this bit of music. It's good. Let's do... One more tether. Yes, I know I'm out of tethers. Oh, steady. Don't go in the fucking processor, Johnny. We've done that before. Oh, Mark posted a message above. Thank, thanks, buddy, wrong legs. It's further up in the chat. Mark. Mark. Uh, Mark, where's it fucking gone? Mark, Ma I hope you're enjoying me just saying your name repeatedly. Mark, Mark, Mark. Hi, Johnny. Right, I've seen that. I've seen hi, Johnny. How am I missing this? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. If a pear drinks blood, it's not cannibalism. It's comeuppance. We are always drinking pear's blood. In fairness. Yeah, that's true. I prefer normal... prefer normal... Uh, cider to perry. Why did I assume it was booze? Anyway. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Might crack a beer in a bit. Although I did wake up with a little bit of a hangover. Not gonna lie. Because uh, the Blood Bowl game last night went to extra time. And that was stressful. Cool. 
fun, but stressful. Okay, so we've got two. I need more tethers before we do this. Bollocks. Oh, that's annoying. Why is everyone typing laughing my ass off? What did I say that's funny? Whoop. Ugh. But yeah, the um, yeah the blood ball game went to extra time. I was very lucky to win, to be perfectly honest. Fuck it, we'll do fuel and everything. Marissa J says, "Blood Bowl." Glad to see the Super Bowl has a more appropriate name now. What? Oh, there was a light in there. Damn it! I did that last time as well, didn't I? Oh well. Hello, canopy. Gloom of the man I used to be. Now, if it's red, does that mean it's pressurized or not pressurized? I forget. Not pressurized. So I should be able to take that canopy off, right? Ugh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> do some. We were doing the cargo hold thing, so we'll do that because look, there's an airlock there, so we should be able to cycle that, right? Okay, so this whole this whole area is now depressurized. Okay, that's good. Cyborg Penguin said, "Did anything interesting happen during the Blood Bowl game? I uh, I fielded a death roller. That was pretty special. It's basically, just a massive illegal dwarf vehicle. It's like a steamroller, but with spikes. It was fun." Uh, but it at one point got uppercutted by uh, the other team's ogre. Oh, ah, struggling to, to zip around today in space. Where's the thing to cut? Aha! There you are. Let's cut. Oh, did I not finish it? Oh, I did. Okay, so this should be free now. This cargo container. Yep, sure enough. Oh, it's actually not that heavy. Matt K. Fry Guy says, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds fun. Uh, Blood Bowl is the Warhammer equivalent of American football, although really it plays more. But it's great. A uh, co-commission a league. We're in the playoffs of our second season now. Uh, and I, it's great fun. And I played last night. We all shared a refreshing beverage. And uh, had an exciting game. Right. One. This one's not free yet. There's some points there where we can cut. Ooh, now that's a thought. The cargo there, I think this is okay. Because I think the cargo container is just... is sealed. Yeah, it's fine. I was a bit worried for a second there that it was going to be... Um, it was going to depressurize part of the uh, ship, but we seem to be all right. Basil says, oh, we didn't have the Watson Jazz break today. It's not time yet. It's only five o'clock. I've only been going for... Well, it's only just gone five. I've only been going for an hour and 15 minutes. We have the... Um, we have the... Um, we have the break at two hours. <sighs> for 14 says, Canadians play American football too. You should really call it gridiron football. You should call it hand egg if you ask me. Oh yeah, look at that. There are more thrusters to do, but they're quite fun. Seven minutes and twenty-one seconds. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Matt says, sounds like a blast. Good luck for your next game. Thanks. I'm very pleased that I've got this far, to be honest with you. I got knocked out in the quarterfinals last year. 
But then my opponent became a father and thus uh, had a lot of stuff on. So I wasn't able to um, to play his semi-final match, so I got drafted back in. But this time I've made the semis without someone having to have a baby. <laughs> so that feels nice. Um, CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying, uh, It's been a strange week. Cookie Cat 94 is in a super chat, which says, It's been a strange week. A friend gave me his old guitar the other day, but I think it's broken. I can't complain too much, though. It's not often someone gives you something with no strings attached. Thank you, Cookie Cat. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Pow! Did I miss? I missed. Smug Borgen says, glad to be back, Johnny. Oh, delighted, Smug Borgen. I could be having a nap right now. <laughs> now I'm having a nice time. I love this game. It's just great. All right, let's do a thruster. Have we got time? We've got time. Oh, we haven't got the... Uh, uh, we haven't got the... Um, I haven't got enough oxygen, though. Matt says, Johnny, is the trophy for the Blood Bowl champ a fittingly self-painted one? Yes, it is. I made it. Uh, I can show you the runners-up trophy from last year. Hang on, one sec. Because there are official Blood Bowl trophies that they recently reprinted. Um, and... I'll cover up the name on that, just to protect people's privacy. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, this is the second place trophy. Uh, this used to be a banister upright. This used to be a bit of wood. Uh, well, it still is a bit of wood, but it used to be part of a bigger bit of wood, which I cut up and glued together. And then, yeah, that's a, that's a trophy that I've painted that's out of focus. So this is the Hot Bobs League season runner-up trophy. And there are other trophies, uh, but they are with their recipients from last season. So there you go. Uh, one sec. Okay. Christine Govas Robert uh, has done a super chat saying, Johnny, anytime you find yourself bemused at our jokes, remember YouTube communities are a reflection of their creators. Well, fucking hell. Thanks, Christine. That really made me feel better about myself. <laughs> uh. Yep. I suppose so. Hey. Uh, there we go. Right, we'll go back to the hab. Shit! I really need to improve the brakes. That was neat. That was a nifty bit of space going around. Colin Laster says, you get the community you deserve. The Kesling says, you love us really, Johnny. I know. Don't bite off more than you can chew. All right, well, let's go do a thruster. Maybe let's not do the whole thruster. Let's just get at the nozzle. We'll, get, we'll do the nozzle. Access panel go processor. In you go. In you go, access panel. 
Yeah, there it goes. Um, what was I going to say? Who knows? Was it important? Nah. Valerius699 says, well, I've got to hop off for a bit to walk the dog. Have fun, everyone. Have fun yourself. That sounded combative. What I meant was, I hope you have fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, have a lovely time. I hope your pooch appreciates it. Oh, steady on. Don't put too much pressure on that. Boop. Okay. What we're not going to do is start a fire on the ship with only three and a half minutes to go. But we've got the thruster open. You know what? We may as well do the other one. So then tomorrow morning, or whatever counts for morning in space, tomorrow's space morning, we're going to... Uh, we're going to do two thrusters in a day. Oh, yeah. We've been on the run. Eh, eh, driving in the sun. Eh, eh, looking out for number one. California, here we come. Oh, Matt K. Fry Guy says, I'm currently home with the Ronies for the first time, so I'm really grateful for the company. Thanks, Johnny and community. Sorry to hear you finally got the Roni. I mean... Uh, Good job on lasting this long, frankly. Um, that's impressive. Uh, I hope it isn't too bad. I hope you're doing okay. That's a lot of pressurized stuff, isn't it? Ooh! Ooh! I didn't know you could do this! Wow! Systems! Fuel! What that? Light! <gasps> you can see where the lights are! Fuck! That's amazing! I love you, the scanner! Whoopsie. Ah! Down, I need to down. Bow, bow. Down, I need to down. Structural. So, some. Activate airlock console. Uh oh. Is that what I wanted to do? I guess. Oh well. So, this is all pressurized now. Or rather, this was always pressurized. Okay. I mean, I was rather hoping that actually instead what I'd do was uh, depressurize the whole caboodle. Dinger. Dew, dew. We've been on the run. Bow, bow. Airlock okay, well, that's fun, isn't it? Look, there we go. Right, so now we're in... Now we're in hard vacuum. Okay, that's fine. We've been on the run. Down, down. Driving in the sun. Bam, bam. I'm just going to stay. Oh, float in there. Oh, my God. I get that poster. Oh, my God. That poster's mine now. And this one. Yeah. And this one. Posters. Posters. Oh, this is a delight. Computer terminal. Doodle build beetle food dispenser. Dee bam 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 This game's great. KDM has done a super chat saying your chill stream is just a thing while I recover from a cold I picked up in Stockholm on my first Europe Europe trip. My Californian constitution was not prepared. Thanks for being excellent, as always. Thank you very much for the super chat. I'm sorry about your cold. But um I will say what is that? Oh no, that's something that shouldn't be there. Can I move it? No. Yes. Um, go! Go, you little process panel. Um, I'm sorry you got a, uh, a cold, but what a lovely place to get a cold, though. Stockholm is beautiful. I uh, hope you had a great time, despite getting ill. And uh, I hope the, the stream... Uh, I hope the stream serves you well. Let's see. We're so close to getting that first salvage goal. And we've destroyed so little. I'm really enjoying being a bit more careful about this. And shift. Phew. Hmm. You know what? We'll go on break a little bit early today. Um, 
because I could do with a bit more water and a wee. Mm -hmm. But I'm also going to end the stream ever so slightly early so people have a chance to uh, de-stress and, uh, like, you know, get a drink or do whatever they need to do if they do want to watch the Oxventure when it goes out, uh, premieres at 8pm GMT uh, for all to see. It's a, uh, like, it is a great episode. And there is one member of the Oxventure of whom I am particularly proud in terms of the role-playing that they did. So enjoy that. Ah, yeah. New Hab posters. I'm so excited about this. This is so cool. And we made bank. All right. I still think Live, Laugh, Salvage is very funny. Let's change home decor. Let's put float in there all over this fucking place. Live, laugh, salvage is still very funny, though. Float in there! Good luck or a quick death has done a uh, superb chat. But this being good luck or a quick death, it is without... Um... Message, because good luck or a quick death is a stoic but generous person. Thank you, good luck or a quick death. That's really lovely of you. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, meanwhile, Jay Appleseed is on a super chat saying, uh, eh, brackets S, kitten, brackets slash S, pig tax, not late, honest. Oh, strike through. Strike through. Kitten crossed out because the kittens have gone pig tax not late on this jay apple seed uh thank you very much it is lovely to see you in chat and you have arrived precisely when you mean to let's uh repair some of our equipment shall we Ooh, the scanner could do with it um yeah uh, the i'm uh, i'm feeling a lot better about the kittens now obviously on monday i was in bits um but while i miss them and it is very quiet in the house I'm really glad that they went to a new home and they got a new star. And also, the quiet is kind of nice. It's nice to get the flat back. So, but hey, hey. Um, right. Start the shift. Nah, 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 nah. Let's let's take. I'm going to read out a super chat from Scott Harmon. Then let's take a five to seven minute break because we've earned one. Uh, so Scott Harmon is on a super chat saying, watching at work, so I have to turn down the volume when I get a call, but every time I check back in, Johnny is still singing the OC theme. Never change. We've been on the run, pew, pew, driving in the sun, pew, pew, looking out for number one. Uh, thank you, Scott, for the uh, generous super chat and a lovely comment. So let's take a five to seven minute break. Um, you know the drill. I'm going to get myself some more water. Uh, I'm going to have a wee, I'm going to have a stretch. Um, what do you need to do? Uh, if there is something that you need to do that you can do in the next five, seven minutes, go do it. If there isn't anything, don't worry. There'll be a picture of the dog and some smooth jazz. Uh, so yeah, um, take care of yourselves. I need to take my meds. I haven't taken those today. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, if there's anything you need to do, go and do it. And then I'll be back in five, seven minutes. So um, everybody ready, go.
Waving on the run, beep beep. Drumming in the sun, beep beep. Looking out for number one, California, here we come. Beep 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 beep. Sorry about that. Hope everyone's okay. Farewell to the twenty-eight of you who left during the break. So long. Well, one of them left while I was singing, so that's a uh, that's a lesson in it. Anyway, how to play Shipbreaker. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna burp. <clears throat> Sorry, gross. Had some fizzy water and a couple of Pringles. That'll do it. Oh no, two more people have left. What's... I cannot believe people don't want to stick around on the internet and just listen listen to a person singing the OC theme badly. Baffling. Baffling. <sighs> right then. Uh, space Shipbreaker. Continue salvage. What did you do on the break, everybody? Did you have a nice time? All right, everyone. Yes. That panel. That panel got through in the end. All right, it's thrust a day, everyone. Let's go get set on fire. Dan Keller says, how can you stop at only a couple of Pringles? What can I say? I live a monastic lifestyle. <laughs> J. Appleseed says, sorry if my chat was badly timed, by the way. I didn't mean to be insensitive. Love and hugs. Oh, no, not at all, Jay. Do not worry. God. No, no. It takes more than that to upset me. Uh, no, you're all good. I, I genuinely, thank you for it. It was, it was, it was genuinely funny. Do not worry. All right, everyone. We're going to get set on fire a bit. Emma Benton says, Johnny. What have I done now? Matt K. Fry Guys says, I started Elden Ring back up and I'm totally confused about where the hell I am and why everything is so difficult. That game is tough. All right, here we go. Boo! Here we go. Yes, I know. Oh, shit. Come on. Speed up, Johnny. Why am I on... F oh, my God. That's bad. I've not done that before. Oh, this is really bad. Please. Ah, shit. Come on, move, move, move. Yes, shut up. Yes, 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 shut up. Okay. I'm on fire! Shit! Do it, do it, do it! Oh my god. Okay, so the fuel pipe ate it. And I'm hurt badly. Other than that, it went great. Where'd the thingamy go? The thing I pulled out the back of the thing. <laughs> you know, the thingy. The thingamy. The thrust in the dude. Where'd it go? Shit. Where'd it go? That was horrible, that. Oh, did it get destroyed? That's what got destroyed. No, that was a fuel pipe. What got bit? Well, we're not doing a second thruster today. I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, where'd it go? I think it has gone, you know. Or is that it? No, that's... It's another shipyard. <laughs> Near the wall, says Flopf. Or Floff. Near the wall. Bleh. Excuse me. Wow. I'm, uh... A little unfiltered today. Excuse me. There it is. Thanks, Fluff. Smug Borgin has done a super chat. Uh, saying, cooking rendang curry. Lovely. Before Dungeons of Drakenheim later. Thanks for the company, Johnny. And lovely LSPs. Um, oh, God. I haven't had rendang curry in ages. I hope it comes out really nicely. Um, I don't do enough cooking these days. 
that's that's something I don't do enough of. I love cooking, but sometimes I go through periods where I just don't have the motivation. It's weird. And I'm in one of those periods right now. So my scanner's not well. But that's okay. Let's just very carefully maneuver some fuel tanks. Oh man, the cutting tool. I was so preoccupied about cutting that thing quickly that I didn't just... I just fucked it, didn't I? Can I get it out the same way? Oh, it'll go out that way. That's all right. Let's go around and pick that up. Hello! Uh, Andy V has done a super sticker. This time, the pear has no mug of blood, which is good. Um, the pear, instead, is just sort of standing there and occasionally going, Well, hey! Which is, which is great. Oofed. Anonymous says to vo avoid being set on fire, use the glue cannon. Wait, wrong game. Oh, you know what? I really, really enjoyed Prey, but I'm also not sad it's over. <laughs> not sad at all. Great game, but oof. It was a lot. I think what's weird about it is that it was a... It was a... Well, it still is. But it's a, an immersive sim that puts me on edge. Whereas playing Bioshock, I didn't really feel on edge that much. I mean, the, the first time you... The first splicer you see, because it's a spider sl splicer and they're scary, that that genuinely put the willies up me. But apart from that, I always felt very, like, at home in Rapture, and I felt like I could deal with what it threw at me, whereas there were so many threats in Prey that made me just go, what the fuck is that? That, um... That, uh... Yeah, I, um... Just... I, I wasn't comfortable. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, no. What's happened there? Let's let's end the old... Uh, let's end this, this shift, shall we? My suit's dinged up. My scanner's fucked. My radio's not really working properly. It's briefly given me classical music rather than lovely banjo music. What's up with that? Am I right? Right. <sighs> Medkit! Ah! Uh, suit patch kit. And then we'll take thruster fuel. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's stay out. We're all fine now. We got like almost 10 minutes left on the shift. Um, Fluff says you can actually you can actually avoid the fire but the game never tells you how. Wow. There you go. Um Brookie B says, Hi Johnny, I've recently started to develop an interest in board games thanks to your videos. Do you have any recommendations for games that don't take up too much space and can be played solo? Uh, I've been playing... What have I been playing lately? I've been playing Regicide, which can be played with a an ordinary deck of cards and is great. Uh, it's co-op that you can play... It's hard to play solo, but you can play it with um, up to four, I think? Um... I've been playing the new, well, not so new anymore, but I've been playing Set a Watch Swords of the Coin, which is the sequel to Set a Watch, which is a very good co-op game that I like very much. Um, what else doesn't take up much room? Um, generally, like card games, tend to be small form factor. They're not massive. Uh oh, let's cancel that tether. Uh, come back, come back! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't go in the furnace! Don't go in the furnace, you big bit of salvage, you bastard! Don't go! Stay with me! It's going in. Shit, that's worth so much money. No, come on, come on! Don't go in the furnace! You got so much to live for. Namely, going in the processor. Get back in here! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Right, and you go over there as well. Get out of the furnace. You bastard! 
My tethers! My tethers are breaking! Come on, come on! Fuck! Ah. <sighs> Alex Simkin says, I'll never let go! God damn it. Shit. Okay. Thruster damaged? Why? <sighs> Damn it. Thomas Ogden has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny. Hi Johnny and LSPs, hope you're all well. Reached the second boss in Returnal today and died epically. Any tips from our lovely host? Ixion's a prick. You've just gotta learn him. You've just gotta learn him. Uh in the second phase, when he starts sending out the circular blue waves, you can jump them. Um, which is useful because the dash obviously has a recharge. Um, but you've just gotta. You've just gotta. Hmm. I would say, actually, now you're onto the second boss. Still do the first zone as completely as you can. It's really important to get as many upgrades as, as possible. God, I love Returnal. What a game. Yes, yes. That's because I'm using my tethers, tether lady. No, 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 no. Furnace, no. Come here. Oh, you fucking bastard. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come here. You fucking prick. Get over there. Why are you trying to join the other one? No! No! You can't have it, Furnace! Get over here! You shitlord! Well. Well. Fuck this, I'm going I'm going home. I'll buy some tethers in the morning. Not I'm not paying good money for oxygen when I'm I'm dealing with that shit. Oh fuck. That was rubbish. Lucas says why are they so attracted to the furnace? I'm gonna say it's my fault. The gates do have like a pull. Oh, useless prick. God damn it. Ugh. Return to the hab. <sighs> okay. It wasn't that bad. We didn't feel good either. Ugh. Mm. But we've got some LT. Maybe we can afford a cheaper upgrade. Faisal says Furnace the Menace. I love it. Brilliant. Before starting your ship. Okay, okay. Uh, Thomas Tomasi says, has Johnny dropped a C-bomb yet? No, I haven't dropped a C-bomb in quite some time, it feels like. Ugh. Excuse me. Ian Smith says, I was about to say it's the most awesome and wholesome alternative to football, but as I come in, immediately I hear prick. Ah, it's still good. <laughs> good, I'm glad I'm better than Qatar. <laughs> um, equipment. Through stairs. Let's repair. Oh, I've got no repair kits. Need to buy some. Alrighty. But that's okay. Now, oh yeah, equipment. We were going to see if we can upgrade anything. Come on. Stick with it. Thrusters. Augment the braking power. We can't afford it. We need to save up for this. I want better brakes. So there we go. Start the shift. Let's go buy some tethers. Continue ship.
love to start my day by immediately spending 18 grand on tethers. All right. I'm not going to be beaten. Oh, I wonder if maybe that was a part of it. Maybe I was. Maybe the tether was clipping through the furnace wall. Well, that seems better, doesn't it? Oh, a light! A light! A light! We want that on the barge! No, no, the light, please. Light goes on barge. Salvage deposit secured. Okay. Credits awarded. All right, then cancel those tethers. And <gasps> don't go in the processor. It's fine. Ah. In Smith says, so I'm not familiar with this game. Will we see gene stealers? Well, actually, my DNA has been copied so that they can just print a new me if I if I accidentally meet with a fatal accident at work. So I, there's a gene seed, I guess. So that's something. Alright. Boop! Oh, I missed some scrap there. Oh well. Injector base plate? Injector? I barely know her, etc, etc. Alex Simpkin has done a super chat saying, Thanks for the lovely stream as always. I was wondering if I could self promote my unofficial Oxventure Blazing the Dark STLs on Thingiverse. Yeah, go for it, Alex. Um, do you want to drop your username? You don't have to super chat this, but do you want to drop your username, I guess? And then we'll. Um, people will know where to search on uh, Thingiverse. That sounds very exciting. Good on you. Uh, all right. Here we go. It's thruster time, baby. One. Two. Didn't get it. Got it. Okay, and then... Oh! Don't get murked. Oh, Christ. Okay, here we go. Come on. Yes, yes, I'm paying attention. It's a fuel pipe that's on fire. Come on. Fuck. Now I'm on fire. Again. <sighs> okay, we got there. We got there, everybody. All this belongs in the processor. Apart from the light. Which belongs on the barge. Afflee the size of a barge. Quasar Thruster, you also belong there. Alex says, Nerdy Fanboy is my username on Thingiverse. I often do Oxventure or Doctor Who stuff. Nice! Cool, cool, cool. So if you have a 3D printer, or if you don't, just go on, go on Thingiverse and search up uh, Nerdy Fanboy. That's Nerdy Fan uh, B O I Boy. Nerdy Fanboy. All right. Oops. We have got fuel tanks to move. I like doing the thrusters, even though it's scary. Oh, don't headbutt the fuel tank. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Stephen Roger Benson says this feels like there should be a less flamey way of doing it. You'd think. <laughs> Not according to Weaver. My pal, who's like, all right, Cutter. You get five minutes lived on shift. I love him. He's got a nice voice. Um, what was it doing? Trying to find the fuel tanks. 
Pay attention, Johnny. It was right there the whole time. Now go the other side. You'll grab it when it pops out. Ian Smith says, any intention of looking at the latest Sea of Thieves season? It's fun, but I'm not sure if PvP would be your vibe. I actually quite like PvP in Sea of Thieves. I've played a lot. I've been playing Sea of Thieves since the beta. Um, shout out to everyone who doesn't say it that way. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, but uh, where's that fuel canister gone? Where'd it go? Um, it's not that I don't give a fuck. It's just that, like, that's... I've had so many people in my career be like, yeah, how are you saying that? It's like, like a British person, it's not a bother, it's not a problem. There you are, fuel canister. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Uh, no, I haven't played Sea of Thieves in quite a long time. I think it's because the people I normally play Sea of Thieves with, we've just been playing Halo. Like, I've been playing a lot of Halo multiplayer. Tonight we're going to start the campaign in co-op. So that's going to be fun. Um... I'll go back to Sea of Thieves, I always do, but I'm kind of on break from it right now. Okay. Oh, my O2's a bit low. Let's go top that up, shall we? There is a less inflammatory way to do it, says Detritus23. Uh, take the coolant tanks and open them against the fuel lines. They won't ignite when you cut the thruster free. Oh, interesting. That sounds advanced, though. Goddamn right, my oxygen levels are stabilizing. You have a nice day. Oh, I need a tool repair kit. You have a nice day, Vendatron. All right, where's that thruster gone? Here we go. All right, gonna cut the little baby thing out of it. Little baby thing? The thing. All right, cutter, you got about seven minutes and fifteen seconds on your shift. You want to cut anything up and put it in a processor? Well, that's your job. Thanks, Weaver. It was bad when I set myself on fire. With the cutter, specifically. The other times I set myself on fire were also bad, but I was thinking of one in particular. It, I mean, it's not good to have several instances in which I've set myself on fire to choose from, really, but... Grapple damaged? Where? All right, fuel injector. It's time to get you on barge. There you go. Okay. It's time for my mortal enemies. These bits. These bits even free? No, this one seems different. Yeah, there's a little internal doodaddery that we're doing here. All right, well, let's get on the inside and start cutting things out from there. Oh, but this is all pressurized. Is there an airlock I can cycle? Cargo hatch. Wait, hang on a minute. Is red pressurized and green is not? Airlock is red, airlock is depressurized. Airlock control. Airlock pressurizing. Mm -hmm. Right, now we're in the cargo hold. I'd like to depressurize the cargo hold, really. Aha, atmosphere regulator. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, 
Five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Four to turn the lights out on you. Thanks, Weaver. Weaver out. All right, Weaver. Mmm, Weaver. Cool. Great. Well, this is all stuff we can cut. Look. Oopsie. Cutter damaged? Why? Come on then, you big panel, you. Go on. I know you're. Fr I know you're free. I can see you glittering. Glittering? Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> I'm having a day, aren't I? Right. Which way is anything? Accidentally deep philosophical question there. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the one to start with. That's okay. Alright, Cutter. If you want to cut things, cut them up. You just go on, you get it, and you cut them, and you, then you cut them up. <laughs> Soft crate! Thank you for applying the credits to my account. Another soft crate. We've done all right today. Oh, that made it. Cargo hatch. Industrial hoist. <laughs> What's wrong with me? So much. It's all gone a bit oasis, isn't it? The sun is all in the summertime. It's enough. It's down, baby. Oop, steady on. Where's that going? Hey, look, console, come back. Here you are. Boop! Oh, I love this game. <laughs> I just love it. It's just nice. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite things to do is to roleplay games that don't need to be roleplayed a little. And like, sometimes I've played this game when I've been tired and I've had a couple of beers. Uh, and so like when I wake up, I'm just like, oh God. Um, just giving a little, little role play. Oh shit, Netwitch says the airlock has air. Bollocks. Yeah, I shouldn't have removed that console. Oh, the atmosphere regulator's okay. Well, it won't work now, will it? Yeah, the atmosphere regulator's not going to work. Let's just grab that. Oh well. Netwitch, you're right, but but uh, there's not all I can do now. All right, we 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 waver. I'll make my mark on this shift. All right, I fucking put that in a processor. Oh shit! Don't get hurt. Yeah, look at it go. But yeah, I roleplay the shit out of this game. It's just a, it's just a really good, um, it's a really good game to just play when you're a little bit drunk and you're just feeling weary and you're just like, ah fuck, it's another day down the mines. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get in the half. That's fine. Get in there, look. Oh. Jamie McCluskey has done 
Superb chat. Which reads... Hang on, I'm going to yawn. No, I'm good. Currently have some leek and potato soup bubbling away using homemade stock while a camembert bakes in the oven. This is a good evening and it's only fitting I share the love. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday, Jamie. That sounds amazing. Oh, I haven't had leek and potato soup in ages. Might make leek and potato soup this weekend. Mmm. Maybe put some goat's cheese in there. Get real fancy with it. That sounds great. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Jamie. I hope it all turns out brilliantly. Because yum, 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 yum. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. Thanks, Hab Voice. Made 1.8 million. We're getting through it. Very, very slowly. Cusco25 says, The weirdest part about this game is that Lynx is technically a decent employer. Even if you're really bad at the game, you should be out of debt by the end of the first year. Huh. Hadn't thought about that. Right. Excuse me. Sorry. No filters today, apparently. Alright, Cutter. And by Cutter, I mean me. Welcome to Thank you for your part, of the, part of the role-playing in this, actually, is that like my Cutter really cares about their, call, like, their gear, which is why I repair when it dips below 80%. I know I don't need to do that, but I like doing it, you know? It's weird. One of the first videos I made at Eurogamer actually was about how I like role playing Elite Dangerous. Industrial hoist. Yes, I'll cut you free, little industrial hoist. Because my, uh, my character in Elite Dangerous is the ancestor of one of uh, a, a character I played in a three and a half year role playing campaign. <laughs> Just makes me happy, that sort of thing. Now, is this guy free? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go up a bit. Let's be gentle. Do not go in the furnace. Rachel Davies has done a super sticker. It's of you remember earlier I mentioned how there was like a lime that was also a person and a well a child and a, a lemon that was like a grown adult. Well, they're hanging out again here in chat. Thanks to Rachel Davies, they're doing a jump in high five, uh, which is impressive because that lime can like really jump quite high given its size. Uh, so yeah, that's nice. Oh, did I need that other tether? Yeah, it's useful. Getting some rotation on. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't go in the fucking furnace. That's not where you believe. Little, little panel. Little big, 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 big panel. I'll let that go for a while. I think that's fine. I think it's okay. Right, there's some more stuff that we should be pulling onto the barge, I reckon. Dan Keller says, right, gotta go. See you, space cowboys. Keep on belching, Johnny. May the road meet your feet and such. <laughs> okay, good. It, it got to the right place. That's decent. May the road rise to meet you. May your horse never tire. May your something never falter. May your knight get a squire. I can't remember the fucking rhyme. Oh no! Scrap! Yes! Savage goal! Boop! Lovely salvage goal. Cargo hatch, eh? Going on a barge, is it? Is it? Going on a barge? 
What will we cut free next? Let's get this soft crate out. Out. Beam, beam, beam. Ah! <laughs> I'm slightly disorientated there. Okay. I think it would go easier if I got this big lummock lummoxing bit of metal out of the way. Dare I. Let's do it. Uh-oh. That's not going to go well. Oh? Come on. Eh? Come on. Come on. Get in the fucking processor. What you snagged on there, buddy? Carrie Choice says, I already bought two games this week and you playing this is really tempting me to get it since it's on sale on Steam right now. Must resist. It is very good. But also it's on Game Pass if you have, like, PC Game Pass. Which is genuinely, I think, tremendous value. I'm not shilling here. Uh, but I just think it, like, genuinely, it's great. It's got lots of games in it. Okay. Yeah, that airlock does rather have um, some uh, air in it. I should have thought of that. Oh, well. Where's that big bit going? Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's going in. That's all right. Thunder Cookie's done... <laughs> Thunder Cookie's done a super sticker. It's of a peach, or is it? Because I'm not going to lie. The way that peach is presented in terms of the shape of it and the way the light's hitting it, it looks like a butt. <laughs> Frankly, I think Thunder Cookie knows that is the case and was trying to make me think about it. Well done, Thunder Cookie. I'm thinking about it, but yeah, that airlock's got fucking air in it. Oh, wait, I can just cycle it from here, can't I? Airlock depressurizing. There we go, look. That's fine now. Fine now. Yeah, whole ship's depressurized. Mm, 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 mm. What's that? You're a cut point, grade one. Well, sure, I'll give you a little tickle. Why not? Why wouldn't I? What's that? You're an airlock console. Well, sure, I'll pull you off and put you onto the barge. Do -do -do. Emma Benton says, that airlock has fucking air in it. Astute observation. Yep, I know what I'm about, Emma. <laughs> God damn it. We've made loads of money today on this shift. Look at that. And we've still got ages to go. Oh, my O2's low, though. Let's go fix that, eh? Ah, fuck. <gasps> Oh, my radio. Whoops. Oxygen, please. There we go. All right, as long as I don't do anything really silly, they said, tempting fate, we should be all right for the rest of the shift. With any luck, we'll be able to afford the thruster upgrade. Hugh says, O2? More like low two. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> God damn it, Hugh, that got me pretty good actually. Well, 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 well. A ladder. A ladder. Come on then, ladder. Absolute ladder. Bop. 
did I miss? Oh no, I got it. Now then. <laughs> O2? <laughs> More like low two. Ha 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 ha. Just delightful. Well done. Gonna be that didn't do it. Come on. Furnace. Boop. You going in, buddy? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Don't know why I laughed like that. <laughs> yeah. Come on then, flight terminal. Boop. 74 kilograms of get on the barge. Storage bin. Oh, don't hit yourself in the face with it, Johnny. That would be bad for you. Ah, <sighs> oh, I know I'm going to be playing this game later on tonight as well. Once we're all done with playing Halo. Netwitch says data drive in the cockpit. What's a data drive? I'm game, let's find out. Five minutes left, Is that it? How you use them is entirely up to data drive. Pick up. Oh no, I didn't pick it up. I, 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 I smashed it somewhere. Where'd it go? Fuck. Data drive, hello. Data drive? Bollocks, that was really exciting as well. Shit. Netwitch, what do they do? Now that <laughs> now I'm not going to find out. Thanks for telling me about it. I'm sorry I failed you. <laughs> oh well. Easy come, easy go. Law. Okay. Damn. There goes the law. Yep. Ooh, thruster fuel. Don't mind if I do. O2 canister. Don't mind if I do. Remember, your scanner has more modes now. Oh, yeah. These dams. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Really useful. Burp. Oh yeah, maybe I can. Oh, I can't scan for objects yet, but in future I'll be able to. So that's good. We've made so much money today, and we haven't destroyed much. Another one taped to the back of Master Jack. All right. Where are you, Master Jack? I'll try and I'll try and find it rather than just hooning it into space. Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right, cutter. Well, cut it. Cut, cutting, cutting, cut, cutting, cut. You want to cut stuff? You better cut and cut, cut it up. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Boop. Boom, de boom, de boom, de boom. Diddle diddle do.
Emma Benton says, I think, I see we've reached the part of the stream where things have gone a bit silly. You bet your sweet bippy, Emma Benton. <laughs> Just a little bit. I didn't get much sleep last night. Captain Shiny makes a good point, actually. Asking Emma Benton all the stream? Pretty much. Alright, Weaver. 10 4. That means understood. Marissa says, May I ask what a bippy is? So, bam! It's a bot bot. Yanos uh, 606 says, so is it too much caffeine or not enough? Oh, probably not enough. Ooh, you know what? Not all of this is going to want to go in the... Um, in the... Uh, processor. What we got here? Well, oh, just some structure. Oh, wait. No! Hooray! Oh, all right. Ruskin says, says, Ruskin says, says, that tool sounds like a didgeridoo. I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh my god, we made 2.464535.34 million. Marissa J says, ah, Bippy equals Fanny in North America. But over here, Fanny means hoo hoo. In the UK, a fanny is a front bottom. So. <laughs> Gaz says, I'm enjoying pretending that Weaver is listening into everything Johnny is saying and imagining his reactions to it. <laughs> what the heck is a hoo hoo? Oh, Watson, you are a sweet girl and I love you. Take care in a bit, don't worry. Emma Benton says, Johnny, what? A fanny here is it's a front bottom. <sighs> Baddy Wrongleg says, wait, what does fanny mean in America then? A fanny is is a bippy. <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> oh god. Please enjoy the following inspirational Oh dear. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. <sighs> Emma Blast says, Fanny means butt in America, and we call bum bags fanny packs. See? Anyway. <clears throat> but anyway, Bippy. <laughs> Brodette says, what is going on here? No one knows, Brodette. Ah, uh, okay, right, equipment, uh, thrusters, can we, we can, we can improve our brake rate, can we, hello please, I would like to buy this, oh, I need to buy that up, I don't want to go faster, Scream! I don't want to go faster. I guess I'll buy it. Charles the Great and Powerful is on a super chat saying, just reiterating that I love you, Johnny. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> okay, well, this is the opposite of what I wanted. I didn't want to go faster. I wanted to brake better. But now... But now, that... Wolfsbrain says, I'm getting strong who's on first vibes from this conversation, except like the M-rated version. What's who's on first? I don't know what it is. <sighs> okay. I reckon we can uh, make it to salvage level 3 today.
Fix your equipment, says Netwitch. Well, I just started my shift, so whoopsie daisy. Oh, a person literally named Who is on first. That's right. Yeah, I remember. I remember who's on first. Yeah, Abbott and Costello. Thank you, Lillian. <sighs> oh, look how fast we go now. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Okay, I'm into it. Now, what were we cutting before? I know we were cutting things. That's important. That's good. We should probably cut some panels loose. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Let's start stripping the skeleton. Ton, 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 ton. Ah, uh, still stuff to pull out of here. Onto the barge with ye surprisingly expensive light. Aiden folks says I thought Johnny was playing into the bit. I wish I had now. I wish I'd made the connection and... But no. Computer terminal. Oh, I hope we find a data disk today and then pick it up. Rather than <laughs> firing it across the galaxy. Atmosphere regulator. <laughs> Wolfsbrain says Johnny's got the zoomies now. <laughs> oh no. I'm not talking about stripping the skeletons and stripping any of you. Behave. I know I was just talking about bippies and front bumps. But I meant taking off the outer panels of a spaceship, because that's my job. You rascals. Oh, no, we'll go out this way, shall we? Oh, I'm so quick now! So many objects. I like that bit. With the accordion. Gotta go fast. Door console. Oh, there's so much to put on the barge. hell was I cutting before? <laughs> I know I was cutting something that only had like one thing left. I'll get round to it. It'll be fine. Let's just get back in here. Right, sod all these. There we go. That's what I'm after. Cutting points. Yes, that'll do. Oh, there's so much to move. Simply Dave MN says, you were cutting the language barriers from the big pond. Uh, oh, I was cutting... Yeah, there was... Oh, that's right. The big... The thing floating at the back, says Pietro P. That's right. This guy! Thanks, Pietro P. I was curious as to what this bit is. I was cutting that loose. Why not? Yeah, there we go. <gasps> yeah, look. Oh, but that's weird. Because I've cut all those supports. I'll keep going. Faisal says it does sound like a didgeridoo. It does, right? 
I can play the didgeridoo. There was one time when I was at GameSpot, I was like, we had a didgeridoo, and we wanted to use it for a piece of camera, and Seb Ford, who is just a wonderful human being, was like, oh, I've got this, like, because he's half Australian. Oh, so I was separating these two bits, but they actually both need to go in the processor. All right, that's fine. Um, he's half Australian, so he was like, what do you need to do? I was like, I don't know how to do it. And he was like, what you need to do is this. And I went, what, this? And suddenly I could play the didgeridoo. <laughs> it was really fun. Very weird. Ian Higton's good at the didgeridoo, actually. Uh, Claire DeBear has done a super chat saying, Johnny, can you tell me to stop looking at the Black Friday deals? Yes, I can. You don't need that stuff. It's not a saving if you're spending money you otherwise wouldn't have spent. Stop it. If there's anything you legitimately need, have a think about it. And we'll come back to come back to them in a day or so. They're going to last for ages, aren't they? Um, stop browsing. Simply Dave MN has, uh, says, by the way, how are the kittens doing? The kittens have all gone to new homes. They're all out to foster. Well, not foster. They've gone to forever homes. Uh... So it was a big day on Monday. It was all quite emotional, but we're very proud of the job we did. So that's nice. My scanner's been damaged. Oh yeah, we've been on the run, pew pew, driving in the sun, looking out for number one. California, here we go. Don't go in the furnace, you big bit of rail guide. Get in a processor! <laughs> oh, we do have fun. Oh, my O2's low. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Do, do, driving in the sun. Boo, boo, looking out for number one. Boo, boo. Chris K has done a super chat saying, Congrats on the kittens getting new homes and thank you for being such a caring person. Uh, thank you very much. That's very kind. Um, it was kind of a no brainer for me and my partner. Like, Lil Speedy, the mum, um, was pregnant when we found her, but we didn't realise. What is that? Hello? Is that a stray something? Get in there, nanocarbon, eh? Um, just ran up to my partner uh, while they were outside, and I was I was at home, and they came in, they were like, this kitten just ran up, and it seems really malnourished, and yada yada yada, and I was like, well, do you want to go get it? See if it's okay? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> so then... We went for it, and then two days later we found out Speedy was pregnant, and we were like, well, here we go, I guess. Like, I don't know, it just happens. It's not the first time. In fact, my phone reminded me today was the seventh anniversary of us finding Waddins. Well, not finding Waddins, finally capturing Waddins. He was a feral that used to live in our garden and kept having lists of kittens that she'd then lose. Um, so we captured her and her kittens and we uh, kept the, kept her and the kittens indoors until they are all old enough, and then we adopted those out to new homes. So this is like literally our second rodeo, the whole speedy saga. Uh, and I, you know what? We'd do it again in a heartbeat. It's just, it's, you know, it's a no-brainer, really. I assume it's going to happen again at some point. And that's all right. When it happens, it happens. I'm just fortunate that we, you know, we both work from home a lot. So we've got the time um, and the space to sort of look after them. But the area of London I live in has a lot of big stray cat colonies. Like, we've identified, like, three different ones. And one of them is definitely, we call it Clan Waddins. Because Waddins was definitely from that. We see cats every now and then and we're like, that is 
definitely related to Wadden's. Um, it's really weird, but there's just a lot of lot of a lot of stray cats around this part of London. Wow, pulling off big chunks now. Let's tether it. Got about five minutes left in there. Let's make them count. Weaver out. 10-4 Weaver. Thank you very much. I'm going to try and find some things to throw on the barge over. <laughs> I'm try and find the ship. That's the ship. Project, project. Transferring credit. Oh, wait. That bit's just floating loose, is it? Is it? No, it's not. What are you doing, Johnny? Pay attention. Pay attention! Ooh, thruster fuel. And O2. Sure, I'll help myself. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Might as well take the thruster. Oh, no, take the thruster fuel. No! Get the thruster fuel! There we go. Jameson Edwards says, I blame Grebo for all the strays, which I think is a reference I'm not getting. Is that a reference I'm not getting? I mean, I don't get it, so I'm assuming yes. What, what, what do you mean? Oh, Roswell Walton says, Going to see my mum this Sunday for lots of hugs. She had to have her cat put to sleep yesterday. That's so sad. I'm so sorry. I hope she's doing okay. That's ne that kind of thing's never easy, is it? Oh, the reactor! The reactor! Wee! Let's deal with that on the next shift. I'm not having another reactor meltdown. If I can avoid it, anyway. Ah, Grebo's a Discworld cat. It's Nanny Og's cat. Thank you. So I'm not that familiar with the um, with the with Nanny Og stuff. That's like equal rights and stuff, right? I've read equal. Right, and I think I tried. I didn't, didn't finish Weird Sisters, but oh great, I tethered a thing to itself. Tremendous. Yeah, we can get better brakes. Netwitch says, "Try not to blow this one up." You're not the boss of me, Netwitch. No, it's a, it's a good it's a good a good guiding principle, isn't it? Look at this massive bastard thing that's all for the processor. Let's put it in. The processor. Doot. It's like gonna need. It's gonna need a couple of tethers, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. I should really read more Discworld. I haven't read one for a while, and I bloody love them. And it's my first trip through them all. Which I feel quite fortunate to be doing, really. Okay. So obviously, this is surrounded by a lot of things that I need to cut away. Grade 2 cut point? But I can't cut that. Oh yes I can, what am I talking about? Cutter, you got about a minute left. Naka says, awesome to see you playing this again. Love this game and its soundtrack. It's just good, isn't it? I needed something chill. It's been a good week, but a busy week. Um, so I just wanted something a little, little light. Come here, rail guide. You're valuable. Yeah, I reckon. Bottom da dee 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 We're doing a good job on this ship. Oh no! Jack Thompson's done a super chat saying, Well, I was supposed to be at an Amorphous and Iluvite concert tonight, but Horrendous Cold says no. Enjoy the money I would have spent on beer. 
Oh, Jack, I'm really sorry. I like Iluvite. I, I've not heard Amorphous, but... Um, Innis Mona. What a, what a banger. What a great track. That whole album actually is amazing. But uh, that's a shame. I'm going to pop a jump on because I'm cold. Hang on. But thank you for the super chat. I'm very sorry you're not going to make it, but I hope you feel better soon. Uh, it always sucks to miss a gig, but sometimes it's just necessary. Slothrust, one of my favourite bands, played in the uh, in London in the summer. But they were playing at the Garage in Islington, which is a famously warm venue. It's a great venue, but it's a very warm, cramped venue. And it was 40 degrees that day, 40 degrees centigrade. And I was just like, ah, I can't, I'm not going. It's a real shame, because I love that band, and I've never seen them live, and I really want to. But I was just like, that's going to be hazardous to my, my health and my <laughs> mental health. Because summer's bad for me. I cannot tell you how much happier I am now that it's autumn. It's ridiculous. James Cotton has uh, said, These streams convinced me to pick up this game, having a lovely time so far. It's currently on sale, 33% off on Steam, is anyone else is think if anyone else is thinking about it. Um, yeah, if anyone is thinking about it. Not you, Claire de Bear, stop browsing. <laughs> Salvage goal earnings. Yeah, we can upgrade our... Breaks. Um, I need a wee. I've been drinking a lot of water today. So, um, I'll just mute my mic. Uh, so I'm literally going to be like one minute. But, uh, be right back. Sorry about this. Hello. Oh yeah, as Roswell Walton says, this is also free on Game Pass. It's a very good point. It's a very good game. Hello, shipbreaker. Hello. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last ten percent of a job takes as much energy as the first ninety percent, which is why it's so important to always give one hundred and ten percent. Made two point one million. Look at us go. All right, let's upgrade our brakes. Equipment. I need more repair kits. Thrusters. Brakes. Upgrade. Ah. Tremendous. Might be hitting um, rank 7 today. Never know. Or rather, this shift, I mean. Uh, Zen and Melnick says, Hey Johnny, any tips for someone thinking about picking up Sea of Thieves with a friend during the sale? Um, Haha, <laughs> sale. Um, yeah, oh, that's another game that's free on Game Pass. Um, I actually, it's it's a bit outdated now, but I made a game, uh, made a video on uh, Eurogamer that's all about how to start in Sea of Thieves. But there's a pretty good tutorial now. I would just say, um, prepare yourself 
like for the possibility that people are going to come and sink your ship and 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 mess with you. Um, but try not try to stay in a headspace where like it is part of the game's DNA, and those people can be annoying, but like. It's frustrating in the early stages to lose treasure and therefore experience and progression. But, like, don't get too worried about it. Um, like, it's only stuff. The, the, the journey and the experience of kind of gathering stuff is, is, is the best bit about Sea of Thieves, I reckon. So. Anonymous says two million a day. Then it takes five hundred days to pay off a billion debt, provided no costs or interest. True, but my assumption is, um, my assumption is that the ships are going to become more profitable. Like the ship we're working on is sixteen mil. That's thirteen mil. Um. I think there are going to be ships that have just more expensive things. All right. <gasps> My brakes are so good. I love my brakes. All right. Ooh. We're near the reactor here, so we ought to be careful, they said, firing a space laser like a cool person. Lucas says, only do one quest at a time. If you uh, do more quests and your ship sinks, you lose too many things. Yeah, that's the point. Like, cashing your stuff in is swift. Uh, also, they've made it easier now. There's like a broker person who you can just give your stuff to them and they sort it for you it, to the right trading companies. Basically, it's a very silly game. Um, approach it as such. Don't worry too much. Oh, okay, so I could get the reactor out through here. But I think what I want to do is try and open up more. Is this bit going to come out now? Yes, it is. Or is it? Yes, it is. Yep, yeah, it's... It's a weird old stream, all right. Okay. Reactor. Etc. Etc. Do All right. Emma Benton says. All right, place your bets. Who thinks Johnny will explode the reactor and who doesn't? Should we have a poll? Let's have a poll. Interact with your audience. Start a poll. Reactor is going. On the barge. Or boom. Personally, I'm feeling confident about this one. Which may be a greater sign of danger. <laughs> I'm sure this won't knock my confidence. Yeah, 57% of you immediately voted for Boom. Thanks. <gasps> Data drive. Data drive. Pick it up. Haha. <laughs> Yay. <gasps> so there's this guy on Mars. I can't say the name, but you've probably seen him on the news. And this guy really liked ice cream. But, you know, living on Mars, the ice cream there uses soy milk. Obviously, for a person so wealthy, he gets to call himself eccentric instead of crazy. Getting real ice cream from Earth to Mars is no problem, but we're still talking a 250-day trip for most shipments. 
not ideal if you suddenly develop a craving for a flavor you don't have on hand. So he gets this idea that he's going to raise cattle on Mars, and he hires us to get him there. Man pays for a dozen calves, three male, nine female, which he hopes to get to Mars as quickly as possible. I'm not entirely sure how they got the calves into orbit, mm. but yeah, I can't imagine it was easy. I mean, those poor babies were scared stiff when we picked them up. Aww. For the next eight months, we took turns feeding and comforting the calves as they grew into cows and bulls. It was the smelliest, most exhausting, but oddly most satisfying flight I've ever been on. Still, <laughs> we made it and the pay was great. Got all 12 to Mars, healthy and happy. After a couple of months, the client invited us over to his place for his first batch of Martian ice cream. Can't say I can taste the difference. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, I don't want to... There we go. Alright. So, the poll currently says... Uh, it's 57% say it's going on the barge. I'm just going to get this bit out of the way. And then it's reactor time. Emma Benton says, I would like it noted that I voted the reactor would not go boom. So I have faith in Johnny. Misplaced faith? Maybe. But faith nonetheless. Thank you, Emma. Okay, this thing's worth a lot of money. Worth 1.2 million on its own. So you can see why it was so bad last time. Here we go. Ow! But. It's on there, baby! Suck it, 43% of you! Well, that was satisfying. <sighs> oh, we might hit level salvage level four today. <laughs> Batty wrong says that reactor was full of jazz. <laughs> that made me laugh. I liked it. Oh, this game is so good. I'm really enjoying the improved thrusters and brakes, actually. Is this all still one piece? Yes, it is. I need to get this loose. Or is it? No. No, that bit is loose. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low tether reserves as well. What else is new? Where's me app? Where's me app? There it is. Follow the icon, Johnny. Thruster damaged. We're good. Oh yeah, tethers are my friend, but I didn't buy any tethers. Oh well. Caution. No tethers remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salvage deposit accepted. Where I'm going, we don't need tethers. Ah. <laughs> uh. We probably do. Yes!
You should buy more repair kits to fix your stuff, says Netwitch. Probably! Oh shit. Oh no! Bollocks. Oh no! <laughs> shit! No! <laughs> uh. Stop fucking firing it into the fucking... There we go. <laughs> that was very funny. Fuck's sake. I wish it wasn't the same button as, as Hoon. Emma Benton says Johnny. I'm trying, Emma. I'm genuinely trying. Oh, criminy. Yeah, man. Come yeah, on, you little ladder. Yeah, man. Let's go together. There we go. Boop. Oh, what a what a treat. What a treat. Hugh says you are very trying. <laughs> Fuck you, Hugh. <laughs> I'm Hugh. I'm nice and witty. Oh, oh, oh. That's what you're like, Hugh. And we're all sick of it. Cutter, we've got five minutes left till we call her day. All right. We're out. Oops. Awarded. Thank you, voice of lady who lives in space. Ooh, thruster fuel. Don't mind if I do. Ah. Aha. Right. We got to separate some of this stuff. Furnace processor. Okay. Hmm. This is a tricky bit of ship. Right. Okay, that bit's free at least. Processor, processor. All of it's going in the processor. That's good news. Seven o'clock. I'm going to stream for another half hour, I reckon. And then, to be honest with you, the dog could do with uh, a trip outside. Uh, and it will give you all time to sort of adequately prepare for um, for the Oxventure, should you uh, decide that you want to watch it. As it, as it premieres. Anonymous says, seems to be a f uh, bits on that piece. Yeah, but they were just like fuel canisters, which I didn't really need at the time. And which don't, uh, aren't, aren't any money. So I think we're good. Cargo etch. Yeah. I'm really glad they went with like the kind of deep south uh, vibe to this. Hard crate! Excuse me, hard crate, come here. Thank you. Um, really glad they went with it. It just adds so much atmosphere. Whereas I think if they'd gone for like, you know, a cold, hard sci fi, like, you know, like, can you imagine a British accent being like, Credits transferred. Salvage received. It's just not as warm. 
Maybe that's uh, maybe that's just because Disney and other uh, Hollywood things have been teaching us the object lesson for years and years and years that if they have an English accent, they're the bad guy. Which, in fairness, I mean, historically, very true. <laughs> the English, fucking awful. Really bad news for lots and lots of people throughout history. Hugh says English now, but have we considered Welsh? I mean, if if Elden Ring ta taught us anything this year, it's that a Welsh accent, bloody lovely, in a in a video game. I mean, also just bloody lovely anyway. Love a Welsh accent. April Hoy! April Hoy! Has done a super chat saying, thanks for all the YouTube goodness. I was absolutely hooked from the first Ox Venture session on. A lovely! I'm very pleased to hear that. Um, I still feel very lucky that I get to do the Ops Venture, really. Um, I don't think any of us realised how far it was going to go when we sat down to do that first session. But, uh, ooh, nearly set myself aflame there, didn't I? But uh, I think it's safe to say, uh, it's, it's gone all right. <laughs> Mark Clifford says, is that what Elden Ring taught us? I think so, yeah. Simply Dave MN says, except when you have to do one. Yes, I'm not good at doing Welsh accents, unfortunately. All right. 3.486 millions. Yes, yes. We're rank seven. Oh, what upgrades can we afford now? <laughs> Carry choice is very nice haul that one. Thank you. Good morning, shipbreaker. Hello. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Get fucked. <laughs> um, one sec. I think we're good. Okay. Boop. Oh! Got a priority message coming in for corporate. Woo! Everyone, put down what you're doing and have a listen. Yep. Hmm. Maybe they're gonna give us some holiday time. That'd be awesome. Okay, so. Hmm. That would be a first. Probably just another Pulsing kid getting a cushy exec job. Hush up now, y'all. This is an important message to all Link Salvage Division employees. It's come to our attention. Thanks to a very loyal member of our family, that there has been talk about forming a shipbreakers union. A union is a dangerous thing, where extensive fees are extracted for so-called representation of your workers' rights. Uh oh! At Lynx, our top priority is already your well-being. Bullshit! This is why union activity is. Strictly prohibited by your contract <laughs> for your own protection. To safeguard you and your work, we are immediately dispatching an administrator to every salvage sector. Uh oh. This administrator will oversee operations and ensure proper employee conduct. They are authorized to correct worker behavior by any means. Uh oh. And they'll remain in place until we can guarantee company-wide integrity until then remember the company is your family the union is your enemy thank you buddy wrong leg said no oh no holiday. she's got the pretty patel oh, yeah. smirk <laughs> very good a union i haven't heard anything about that have you of course not probably happening around the martian districts they always been Quarrels. All right. You heard anything like that, Lou? Uh, no. Hey, Weaver, do you know when our administrator's showing up? Uh, week, maybe. Coming all the way from HQ at Jupiter Gate. When they get here, we'll need to be on our best behavior. Oh, great. Ah, nothing to fret about, all right? But they are going to be checking everything. Salvage logs, transmission records, operational efficiency. Oh, great. 
You'll be fine, Kai. It's not a performance review. Lou's right. Now, let's just try and keep our heads down and weather this storm together. Okay. See y'all in the yard. Weaver out. Thanks, Weaver. Hey, don't worry. This is a closed channel. There won't be a log. Phew. Well, looks like things might get a bit difficult around here. They're going to try to make our lives hell. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Just having access to the Union News Group doesn't make you a full-fledged member. Uh-huh. Besides, oh. no one from corporate has access. I'm sure they'll say it that way. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. If anything happens, I'll make sure nothing comes down on you. Thanks. Luau. Hey, Everyone get to the luau. I completed Act 1 of the campaign. Hey there, Rook. Saw that you found an old data drive while you were salvaging. Oh. Now, I'm a bit of a tech head and a history nerd. So I love these things. They're uncensored info. Eh, sometimes it's junk. But sometimes, sometimes it's gold. Either way, it's a more genuine view of the colony than what you see on the garbage news network. Ooh. I'm sending you a data recovery program. You'll see it on your HAB terminal. Soaking in solar radiation mangles up the data pretty bad. But you can usually pull one or two intact files. Hopefully it'll give you a better sense of the wider world. Warts and all. Have fun. Later, Rook. Hey! A very tiny <coughs> a very tiny moth says, Johnny, what is your most played ever game? Mine is a Sims 4 with a shameful 5,533 hours. I'm not entirely sure. It it might be Sea of Thieves, you know. I don't know how many hours I got racked up on that. Oh, a new ship, Javelin Tanker. The Javelin from Helix Heavy Industries is a highly modular, multi-purpose ship type, primarily used for industrial purposes. The tanker model is a mobile fuel platform. Beware of extensive fire hazards aboard, on board. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, I kind of want to finish up this ship. Oh! Unread messages. Access at your employee terminal. Mom and pop to Megacorp. Alright. Employee terminal! Mom and pop to Megacorp. Today, every ship traveling to every colony in the solar system does so thanks to Lynx Corp. Imagining our planet spanning civilization without Lynx and the business and technology acumen of its operators, the Paulson family, is inconceivable. Here is the journey of how the Paulson family turned a modest mom and pop recycling shop into the behemoth of progression and innovation we know today. Ugh. The origin, a humble endeavor. Centuries ago, humanity decided to leave Earth for a better, brighter future, venturing into the outer wilds for new opportunities. In a matter of years, prominent companies like Martel Industries set up shop in the uncharted territories on and around Mars. In 2088, back at Earth, an ecologically-minded couple, Kip and Goethe Schlesinger, began a small and unassuming company recycling debris from the dangerous Kessler belt, Lynx Salvage. Their goal was to clear and recycle the deadly debris so that more people could safely reach orbit. The Schlesingers ran Lynx sal Salvage for 34 years, expanding into shipbreaking and growing the company's size at a steady rate. Over the next hundred years, ownership of the company was passed down through the family. In 2204, Kip and Goethe's great-great-grandson, Jonas Schles Schlesinger, hard to say, became CEO. Jonas ran the company without much interest or promise. Four short laters, industrialist, philanthropist, and great innovator Exeter Paulson saw opportunity in the modest company. It was time for it to be placed in the right hands. After a brief negotiation period, Exeter took over... The Exeter took over the operation in 2208, combining all of his many holdings and interests into one company. Exeter rebranded Lynx Salvage to Lynx Corporation in 20, uh, 2000, uh, 2210. Overnight, the humble, homely, earthbound business transformed into the prosperous solar megacorp it is today. Up next, the Exeter Paulson era, 2163 to 2262. Well, there you go. Data recovery. Ha <laughs> ha. I like that. What we got? File successfully recovered. Device name, the one with the cows. Owner, Morton Donovan, Director of Customer Relations. First round. The Kent on. Ah, it's a transcript now. That's good. Okay. A workstation? How's everyone's equipment level? Not great. I don't have any repair kits, I need to buy some. 
Oh, but wait, I've got Lynx tokens. Ha ha ha. The cutter, what can we do with it? Uh, increases range, sure. Uh, yeah. Heat capacity, cool down. Durability drain, boring. How about the grapple? Range two, tether of amount. Durability drain, boring. Thrusters again. Increases not just the size of the fuel tank, also lengthens the fuel line to provide a significant increase in operational capacity of the fuel unit. That could be fun. Top speed two. No! It's trying to make me go faster. Aha! Let's unlock scan mode objects. Which we can't afford yet. Okay. That's fine. Continue the ship. I want those points. Okay. Morning, folks. How are y'all holding up? Fine, thanks. I, I have a uh, what? Hello? Where's the You're... I can't hear you, Kaido. Kai, try switching to another frequency, and then back again. Can you hear me now? I hear you. Hey. Okay, I have a question. What's this ad administrator gonna do? They're bean counters. Waste our time with productivity reports. Oh, they've come here before? Sure, loads of times. Profits drop, they send someone. Accidents go up, they send someone. Sometimes they just send someone to find out if they need to send someone. Ugh. They ain't a big deal, Kai. You heard right, Paulson. I guess they're just sleeping around for union stuff. Right? Yeah. Gotta be here a week, tops. These types have the attention span of a gopher. So move on pretty quick. What's a gopher? Oh, I didn't buy tethers. <laughs> Quiet. Boy, you better come visit some. Ooh! What are you buffering, eh? What's buffering all about? That's weird. I can see it on my end as well. That's really weird. Because I'm still sending like a lot of I'm still sending data really smoothly to YouTube. I think it might be a YouTube problem, you know. Huh. Sorry, everyone. Hopefully that will sort itself out. Let me know if it keeps going. Maybe reload the stream. Hopefully it's just going to stop. One day we'll all go see them gophers. What not? Keep that front of mind, and don't fret none. Carry on now. Weaver out. Oh, there's two bits over there. Let's post them both in. Seems to be okay for you now. Alright, that's okay. Whoa, that was a close one. Do not recycle yourself, Johnny. Oh, thruster fuel! Boo. Okay, well, we're doing alright still. There's not much left to, to really uh, salvage. Salvage. Salut. Seems alright now. Good, I'm glad to hear it. O2 canister. It wasn't really needed. Oops. Yeah, there we go. It's funny, like, when you get to this level, it's marginally less interesting to just tidy up the last bit of the ship, but also it's really important to get those salvage level 5 things. A light! No! <laughs> uh. Objects 
Right then, so now we've just got a massive bunch of put me in the furnace. For which I think we'll need some tethers. Oh, and we got some lights. Oops. Wow. Emma says, well, it only took me 10 minutes to figure out where it was, but I have nearly 2,000 hours in Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's impressive. I don't think... I don't know. I reckon I've probably put over 1,000 hours into Sea of Thieves. But apart from that, I don't think there's, there's a game I have put 1,000 hours into. Which feels weird, but it is true. Where's the barge? Ah, I hate that bit where I can't find it. Shaz the Great and Powerful has done another super chat saying, uh, those who've used the Cornell note-taking method, do you find it helpful? Would you recommend it? Do you have any tips? Uh, I don't I don't even know what that is. So if anyone out there can help Shaz the Great and Powerful, uh, please do. I guess it depends how... Yes! I guess it depends how good Cornell's notes are. Like, you could just make your own notes. Taking someone else's notes is, like, mean. Emma says, I've redone my island. Maybe four... Like, four times, Johnny, maybe five. <laughs> I have a problem. I mean, you've seen my island. My island is lazy. But it's it's my island and I like it. So you know. It's authentically me. Oh baby baby. Right, tethers. And then you know what? We've secured the level five rewards. I'm not spending more time on the fucking lights. So we're just gonna tether this whole hulk if we can. Straight into the furnace. Welcome to Vendidron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Restored. Fuck it. Thank you for your purchase. Cornell like the university. Nah, Cornell's a person, right? You just take his notes. That's the Cornell note-taking system, right? Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Is this the thing where you, like, have a bullet point and then you kind of, like, do things underneath? Because I think that's how I take notes, generally. I don't know. Uh, Yano 606 uh, has done a super chat saying, A combo of Oxventure and your God of War series inspired me to run a D&D campaign in my own version of Norse mythology. Thanks for being awesome. I mean, that sounds awesome, Yano. That, aw that sounds really cool. I hope it went well. Come on, you big bit of ship. Is this going to work? Oh god, don't go in the processor. That would be cruel. I think this might work, you know? I think it's going to work. That's the outline method. Oh. Pietro P's done a super chat saying, There once was a cowboy in space whose helmet protected their face. They hit it real hard and got a bit charred. What a dangerous, shitty workplace. Very good, Pietro. Love that. In it goes. Raw material processed. Credit deposited. I don't care that I destroyed a door. Go fuck yourself. Ship done. We're out. Ah, oh, yeah. 
That went very well. Oh, now you've wrecked another door. Hush. <laughs> ah. Oops. Yeah, I'll get in my hab. Mmm. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. Let's upgrade the scanner so we can see objects. Good morning, shipbreaker. Lynx would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. <laughs> All righty. That's still, there's still so much that I need to earn, but that's okay. Right. Repair. Yes. Repair. Yes. Repair. Yes. Excuse me. Goodness. Cross spectrum scanner. Let's have a look at you. Show me objects. And we can still afford something that costs... Alright. Oh! Removes the lead shielding normally required to operate the device in an open environment, allowing for greater scan range. Legal precedent considers all salvagers to still be protected by their suits. <laughs> uh, that could be fun. Nah, let's get a bigger fuel tank. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, bigger fuel tank. Why not? There we go. Alright. You know what, everyone? That might be a good place to leave it for today because uh, I, I've got very efficient kidneys and I need another wee. Um, and also, so does the dog, probably. She hasn't been out in a little while. And um, there's an Oxventure that you could you could go watch uh, at the top of the hour if you so if you so desire. Um, and before, but before then, it might be nice if you, you know, had a little bit of time to do whatever you need to do. Um, so... Yeah, this has been a really nice, fun stream. We've got a super chat um, from Captain Shiny to, to read out, and then uh, I will wrap this sucker up. Captain Shiny is on a super chat saying, just wanted to thank you and the rest of chat for a lovely stream. Work is getting a bit manic as we get closer to Christmas, so it was nice to come back and, re uh, and relax with the soothing sound of fire and reactor meltdowns with like a little emoji with a, with a halo on it. Yes, that was quite something, wasn't it? Um... So, anyway, uh, yeah, thank you so much for a uh, really fun stream. It's been a good time. Um, I'm actually not streaming next week. Um, Presney Chiodini will be going live as per usual, but actually I'm going um, away for a few days to do some writing. Um, I'm going on a little writing retreat with um, two pals. Um, it's like a working trip, really, but uh, I'm hoping to smash out a lot of uh, book. So that's exciting. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes, but um, be good, and I'll uh, I'll be back anyway uh, the week after. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you so much for being here. It's been lovely. Enjoy the Oxventure if you're watching that. Uh, but most importantly, just want to say yeah, thanks again, and have a lovely day. Goodbye. <laughs>